Get your salary ready. Get your stocks. Get your crunchiness. Get your green goddess juice out of the fridge. It's time. It's time to heal ourselves. Oops. Let me update my clear, clear, clear button because I was doing that and then I got distracted. So I updated some of my, uh, some of my said sound bites and then some of them got messed up because they switched orders. Here we go. Everyone, you couldn't hear it, did you? Let me try it again. Nope. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's hit this now. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? I got to be on this, I think. Uh, clear, clear, clear. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't allow me to have sound bites anymore on my main, my main page. But now that we're clear, 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 we can return. Um, I have some new, uh, no pressure, as always. Um, but I do have some new, if anyone subscribes today, you may see a new, a new little function pop up. If you join membership, <laughs> not the membership. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. No, she's not ready. Tarot's in the house, but she's not ready to come on yet. Uh, there, there may be some, some new graphics elements. Um, so be ready for that. Also, I purchased the freaking book, uh, f not just for this, but this is like a textbook of nonsense. Um, if you ever wanted a textbook that was written by someone with no knowledge of anything that is included in this book and just basic, um, basic, just thrown around terms that they may have Googled on the internet at some point, this is the book for you. This is the one. It's called Medical Medium, Secrets Behind Chronic and Mystery Illness and How to Finally Heal, written by a man who knows nothing. Um, okay, I'm jumping around a little bit because uh, <laughs> even though I scheduled this myself uh, yesterday and I had many hours to prepare, I still feel like I'm uh, a little bit behind. You know how that happens when you start to, you're like, I'm going to just, I got so much time. It's like 9 a.m. I'm like, I got so much time till six. And then, you know, someone calls you unexpectedly or you get on a Zoom chat and then you end up talking and then you end up having a conversation on the phone. And then all of a sudden it's like 5.55. You're like, oh my God, where did the time go? Where did the time go? Oh, so there you go. Uh, so we're going to have a, a fun fact free show here today. Um, and, uh, and we're going to talk all about the medical medium. And I have a feeling that some people may be joining who hate me. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Um, but maybe they don't even hate me. They don't care about me, but, uh, they love medical medium. This seems to be a trend. Every video I've watched that criticizes medical medium, which it's insane that there's not a million more. There's actually way more positive videos out there in the world and and positive press coverage. And that's something we're going to talk about a lot today because I am freaking pissed. Okay, this is how I feel. Oh, I just did it again. <laughs> this is how I feel. This situation is a red flag. And I, I feel the opposite of this. I do not give a fuck. I do give a fuck. Okay, I do give up <laughs> um, because this guy, I mean, okay, here's my whole analysis on, on this whole situation. Essentially, uh, he doesn't lie about where he's getting his information from. So I think that is how he gets away with all of this. Now, who is this guy? What does he say? Where did he come from? We're going to talk about it all. But basically, his name is Anthony William. He calls himself the medical medium. 
and uh, he claims to get his medical knowledge about how to heal yourself from, drum roll please, a spirit that started talking to him when he was four years old in his ear. Uh, I have the best video of all time. <laughs> Not really. It's a pretty good video uh, from his own YouTube page. However, there's music in it. So I know, I know it's gonna get copyrighted immediately. So I wanna play it so bad. We're gonna have to play it like in slow-mo or something because <laughs> it's too good not to play. It's too good not to play. Uh, ah, Cat Wells, thank you. Join the cult. You like that Midsommar picture? Um, there's other ones too. I'm experimenting with custom GIF pop-ups or notifications. So thank you, Cat Wells. Uh, and if you were already a member and you were just sending a message, I will never know because there's some feature that it doesn't allow me to see the messages. Anyways, uh, okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Let's just jump into it. Um, and by the way, this is off topic again, but uh, I feel like, here, I'll go back to my celery screen. I feel like my, uh, my therapy is working, everybody. I feel like today, for the first time in quite a while, I feel balanced. <laughs> I feel like uh, I'm, I'm getting some, I'm having some progress. I think my venture to make friends is starting to pay off in real life. Um, my exercise routine is fun. Uh, that was one of my goals in the last few months. Uh, you know, I've been to the gym. I've always, I've always been a gym person, but, uh, you know, workouts can be boring <laughs> and, and, and lonely if you go by yourself. And so there was like a year period where I was just not really super active. And if I was active, I was still lonely at the gym anyway so now I'm doing tennis and I got rock climbing and I'm starting to do more things again uh for myself that are positive so I just wanted to share that with you <laughs> I'm feeling good guys I'm feeling good what's the point of doing all the therapy if you just can constantly feel bad so anyways thank you uh okay so here here's the man of the hour now let's get pissed off <laughs> Because this is how I was feeling I was feeling pissed I was feeling good then I was pissed off and now I'm feeling good again because you know what Everyone helped me on Instagram. I posted something. I was like, I, how do I not get angry while covering these people? Because I get so upset because I really do see the victims that he's going after, specifically medical medium, but every, all these spiritual gurus, they're going after people who have real problems. Some of it, and we're going to talk about a lot about chronic illness today. A lot of them are people with chronic illness, undiagnosed, mysterious disorders and diseases. And because I think a lot of doctors won't give you a diagnosis without having confirmation um, about what it is, uh, a lot of people are left in the dark about what's going on, why they have certain symptoms, where it's coming from. And people like this are like, mm, they're sniffing around. They're like, oh, this, there's, a mon there's money to be made here. There's a market for, for people who have uh, illnesses. Uh, let me take advantage of them by telling them whatever the fuck I want. And the big problem with that, going back to the media, is that the media gives this guy cre credibility. For what? I don't understand. This situation is a red flag. This situation is a red flag, to say the least. So anyways, okay, let's look at this guy, who this guy is. This is his website, medicalmedium.com. A lot of people love this man. Now, one thing, I will, I will give you a challenge. Um, no one knows where this guy is from. Now, he lives allegedly in Florida. He lives in Sarasota, which is not too, too far from where I am. Um, but this guy is a mystery because I believe he doesn't want anyone poking around trying to find out if his claims are true. <laughs> now, to say his claims are true or not is almost a joke because he says he talks to an angel, essentially, uh, a ghost, a spirit, a, a, a white man, which is how he described him in his 
book, a white man with like a beard and like a, you know, like a biblical figure talks to him and tells him what ailments you have. Um, proving that wrong is pretty simple, you know, like, no, that's not what happens. Um, but at the same time, at least you could confirm his story. Like if he was like this his whole life and he's just weird and just is, you know, thinks he's gifted, uh, as a medium, or if he's a hundred percent full of shit and decided he saw the money with chronic illness and said, you know, I'm going to capitalize on this. It's hard to, um, it's hard to say which one is which because we don't know his age. So if anyone can find his age, holler at your girl. Um, we don't know where he's from. He has no family that I can find like wife, kids, mother, father, anyone you can ask and say, Hey, Mrs. William, his, his other last name's Covello, I believe, C-O-V-E-L-L-O. I don't know where that last name came from, but regardless, uh, we have no way to, to fi- fact check anything and go back to his high school and say, hey, did you know Anthony in high school? Did he say he was talking to spirits? Because he claims he had this gift from when he was four years old. Um, anyways, so that's one thing. And then uh, the second thing is he also it's not just enough to hear spirits in his, or one spirits particularly in his ear all day. He also has experienced aliens, <laughs> only him, right? Only him. And um, he also believes in chemtrails and a lot of things that align with some of the people he is targeting, I believe in his work. Anyways, so, uh, and if you are wondering what the heck the celery is about, he's the guy who basically started the celery juice movement. Now, a couple of years ago, maybe three, four years ago, if you couldn't find celery at the grocery store, it was probably because this guy decided like celery is the cure all for everything. Now I'm going to admit that I also partook in the celery juice craze like two years ago uh, during COVID and not because I thought it was going to cure me or anything, but I was home, you know, I wasn't really working as much as I am now. I had time, to, I was doing yoga a lot. I was like, why not try this kooky thing that I keep seeing on Instagram? And it was fine, it tasted okay. I felt no amazing effects at all. Um, and then I stopped doing it because it was, you have to do one juice is one entire like container of celery. And after a while, that just adds up. And <laughs> I wasn't seeing any, any results. Anything. Anyways. Um, also, uh, if you are a member, you should see two new uh, mo- emotes. They're simple. They're very small. <laughs> so hopefully they work. If not, we can redo them. I just tried to put in a couple of my own while the graphic designer is making the next five. So if you would like to have access to special emojis, um, become a member. Details are below. Okay, here we go. Finally, shut up, Gil. Okay, meet Anthony William. Not to be confused with Anthony Williams. A medical medium, the chronic illness expert, originator of the global celery juice movement and the brain and brain shot therapy, <laughs> and the host of the Medical Medium podcast, is the number one New York Times bestselling author of Brain Saver. Da 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 da. Okay, so I have medical medium, the, the basic book. I don't have, he's got a bunch of other ones, including thyroid healing. Okay. Let me just read them all. Brain saver, brain saver protocols, cleanses, and recipes, cleanse to heal, celery juice, liver rescue, thyroid healing, life-changing foods, and the revised and expanded medical medium. That's one I have. Uh, Anthony was born where? We'll never know. Anthony was born with the unique ability to converse with the spirit of compassion. Okay, that's the spirit that he talks to or that talks to him, who provides him with extra extraordinarily advanced healing medical information that's far ahead of its time, of course. Since age four, Anthony has been using his gift to see into people's conditions and tell them and their doctors how to recover their health. Can you imagine this guy walking, you go to a doctor's office and you're like, hi, I'm here for my appointment. I've, I've 
uh, brought along medical medium with me. He's already decided what is wrong with me, which we'll also talk about, but everything according to medical medium is Epstein bar virus. Everything that you have wrong in your life essentially is the Epstein bar virus. And if you are a big follower of Hollisville and Heidi Powell, one time, probably a year ago, Heidi Powell posted that she believed she had chronic illness because of Epstein Barr virus. And I was highly, you know, suspicious that she had not just been exposed to the medical medium that day because I never heard about it again. And she never brought it up again and or talked about it. And that's just interesting that that is his whole, everything that goes wrong with you is medical media, or sorry, is Epstein Barr virus, according to him. Okay, since age four, Anthony has been using his gift to see into people's conditions and tell them and their doctors how to recover their health. Over decades of helping individuals find the answers they needed, Anthony found that he could only help so many as his waiting list continued to grow. Anthony now dedicates much of his time and energy to listening to Spirit of Compassion's information and placing it into books so everybody who buys his book can have an opportunity to heal. (laughs) That's what I wonder. I'm like, okay, if you truly had this gift from God or from whatever, would you really follow all of the capitalistic um, like barriers or would you fit yourself into a capitalist society? Like if you truly, truly had a gift that could save people's lives, like you have cancer, I got their solution. He claims he can go like this, both in person, he has to do, okay, here's here's another thing. We'll, we'll talk about this as well. But he has, he does the same claim, he has the same claim as Healy, where the Healy works because it's, you know, clipped to you and is giving you vibes in your brain or whatever, but also can work without any geographic constraints. So if you put the Healy on in California, it can be scanned and you can scan somebody in New York. Explain how that works. Same thing with medical medium. He claims he can do it over the phone. He claims he can do it just by thinking about you. He can decide like, oh, you have brain cancer. You have this cancer. But if he's in person, he does this. Oh yes, Mm. your liver's got some enzymes on it. (laughs) So it's like, what's the point of putting your hands up and going like this other than just for the theater of it? Anyways, um, okay. His unprecedented accuracy and success rate as the medical medium have earned him the trust and love of millions worldwide, among them movie stars, rock stars, billionaires, professional athletes, and countless other people from all walks of life who couldn't find a way to heal until he provided them with insights from above. Over the decades, Anthony has also been an invaluable resource to doctors who need help solving their most difficult cases. I would like to hear one medical doctor who's not a naturopath, who has not lost their license in some sort of scheme or scam or, you know, business adventure, who uses medical medium as their resource. Send them my way, please. Uh, the information provided on the site is for general information. Okay, here, here's the key here. Okay, if you really had this information, would you make sure to legalese your entire page and have a full page disclaimer. Um, Because I think if I truly believed in myself that I had gifts from God, okay? There is no one higher than the person who's talking, the only person, okay, spirit of compassion is here. This is according to him. God is the only one above him. So so with that logic, this dude, (laughs) this guy right here, this, you know, unassuming, no history man, Uh, is third in line from God, whatever that means to you. So creator of the universe, spirit of compassion, Anthony William. (laughs) So, you know, am I saying this guy's a narcissist? Yes, I am, in my humble opinion. If you believed that, Would you spend the time worrying about getting sued? Would you spend the time worrying about putting disclaimers saying that this is not medical information, that someone should go to their doctor? Like, whatever. I I don't think so. I really don't think so. If you truly believed in your delusions, why put the effort in to keep yourself legally safe? Anyways, 
The information provided on the site is for general informational purposes only. The information is not intended to be a substitute for professional health or medical advice or treatment, nor should it be relied upon for the diagnosis, prevention, or treatment of any health consideration. Consult with a licensed healthcare practitioner before altering or discontinuing any medications, treatments, or care, or starting any diet, exercise, or supplementation program. Even though he'll say, doctors they just don't care about you and they don't have the time to worry about you. And I have the solutions and the diagnoses for you. Anyways. Okay. So let's, so here we got a, we have wild blueberry challenge. And also his, his kitchen is very studioized now. He's added lights. He's added props. He's very, yeah, very Dr. Oz of him. He's got his books out there in the background, just in case, just in case you want to read. Um, and that's a challenge, I guess. Then you got brain shot therapy. He's got all of the, the medical mannequins. He's not just the medical medium. He's the medical mannequin <laughs> collector as well. Uh, okay. And then there's a lot of people who will speak for him and say it's the best. Um, he's the best ever. Okay. So here are some things that you can, you know, you can work on using the medical mediums. Uh, I don't know his stupid ass. <laughs> cures depression epstein Barr virus that's the one that's everything also so if you think you have cancer you're wrong you probably have epstein Barr virus according to this dude acne anxiety asthma and lung health autoimmune disorders and diseases that's the one he targets the most in my opinion blood clots cold and flu eczema psoriasis neurological symptoms and conditions shingles virus and virus protection and if you don't know what that one's going to be about wink wink guess what just happened two years ago and continues or three years ago now and continues to be a topic of conversation and fear for many people in the world wink wink virus okay here you go um, all right. And this is the part also, like not only do these media outlets who have some respectability, you know, and I, I say that lightly, the Hallmark Channel <laughs> and extra news, uh, you know, they're, they aren't the New York Times. However, people watching TV and seeing a professional studio and having this guy come on and, you know, read their medical conditions by going like this, it does give him credibility. And these celebrity endorsements, which I'm shocked, utterly shocked about, they seem to be real and I'm confused about it. So the people who who love medical medium, who are, um, you know, celebrities, uh, <laughs> The Rock and his wife, Sylvester Stallone, and we have some videos to watch about him. Adam Sandler, okay. Pharrell Williams, Diane Von Furstenberg, the fashion designer, Robert De Niro and his wife. Hilary Swank, Tony Robbins, shocking, not shocking there. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, also not shocking there. Also a medical medium is a contributor to Goop. Who could have guessed it? Who would have thunk? But also... I don't know if anybody has worked as hard on this topic as I have. Gwyneth Paltrow has, has worked hard on this topic. Um, and his book, he's got other celebrity endorsements. There's like three or four pages of just celebrity endorsements. Uh, here, page one of endorsements, which is Hilary Swank, Sylvester Stallone, Pharrell Williams, Miranda Kerr, Novak. Oh my gosh, he's a tennis player. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know his last name, how to pronounce it. I should. Robert De Niro, Gwyneth Paltrow, John Donovan, who is the CEO of AT&T, <laughs> Liv Tyler, Jenna Dewan, star of sound, Soundtrack, World of Dance. I don't know. Rashida Jones from uh, The Office, Carrie Walsh Jennings, who is a volleyball player, Craig Kalman, the chairman and CEO of Atlantic Records, Alex Bladell from uh, Gilmore Girls, James Vanderbeek, the guy from uh, Dawson's Creek, Calvin Harris, the DJ, Deborah Messing from Will and Grace, Scott Bakula from NCIS New Orleans, Courtney Cox from Friends, Naomi Campbell, the model, Taylor Schilling, star of Orange is the New Black, Hunter Mahan, PGA Golf Tour, Lisa Rinna from that Real Housewives. I mean, he's got some, like, and it goes on. Like, he's got a lot of people who are like, this is wonderful. More, more, more. This is great. 
I'm very disappointed. Every single person who has said that this guy is legitimate, I don't care if it worked for you to give a guy who is telling people that, oh, I'm getting all my information from, you know, a source in my ear and also by my, you know, he, he has on his page, and I'll show you, uh, all his supplements are Amazon affiliate supplements. So, you know, it's not just like, oh, he just tells people to drink celery juice. It's like that and all of this stuff on top of it. So he's making money for that. He's making money for from the, the um, books that he's selling. And he used to, now there's a lot of debate. I haven't been able to find it necessarily, but a lot of people have covered him in the past that he used to do on the phone diagnoses. So you could call for 200 bucks or something like that. And uh, allegedly, let me start that over. Allegedly, you could in the past call him up for $200 approximately. And he would tell you over the phone what your illness was and then how to treat it, mostly using celery juice and his branded supplements or the ones that he suggests and he gets a cut of that. Um, so that was the way he made a lot of money, uh, back in the day, allegedly. Now we're going to talk about a case where a child passed away and the mom had basically run out of options and called the medical medium. And she claims that he said, you know, it was from the Epstein Barr virus. The child ended up passing away. And that mom had a lot of guilt that she had passed on the virus to her her child who ended up dying. So we'll talk about that. And that's where it gets really sad. Um, also, uh, he was on the Kim Kardashian show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Uh, he did his famous, uh, put it on mute because I know it's going to get um, copyrighted. This is how he's doing a, uh, a, a diagnosis on her. And he also does Kanye <laughs> as well after this. But here's a quick glance at him working his magic. Wow. He's really... He's testing her. He's making sure he's seeing what she's got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's like a, a human MRI machine. <sighs> so uh, I wish I could play the full clip, but, you know, here we are. Um, all right, let's start. I want to get some, some words from him. I want you to hear this, bro. And we're going to have to be careful, okay? So let's put on this closed captions. I'll read a little bit of it, and then we can play the, the part that I want to play, where he's reenacting how he first discovered his gift. Okay, so, so here we go. I'm going to read it. This is, this is his video. In this book, I reveal truths about chronic illnesses you won't learn anywhere else. You won't hear it from your doctor, read it in any other books, or find it on the internet. These are secrets that have not yet surfaced about how to finally heal, and I'm bringing them to light to you for the very first time. When I was four years old, <laughs> when I was four years old, I heard a voice. I am the spirit of the most high there. Okay. This is the, this is Anthony William as a little boy. This is the actor playing him. The spirit of the most high. There is none above me, but God himself. That night at the dinner table, the spirit came to make, this is like a fully produced video about, about, I don't know. And I, I'm playing it on, on mute because there's music underneath and I do, I do, I would like some money for this video. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I would like the $12, $12 that this video will retain. Um, that night at the dinner table, the spirit came. Okay. Now this is his grandmother who's choking <laughs> or coughing. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. JLB nerdy. And there's a little tarot. Ah, cool. Huh? Uh, JLB Nerdy says, well, this sounds uplifting. You still rock, Kia. Oh yeah, this is not an uplifting one, but we're going to try to keep it light and fun and fresh um, because that's the only way I can deal with this. So, <laughs> so let me just pick one for you. I'm more of a hippie than you are. 
That was a little aggressive, Kayla. I know. Thank you. Um, let's see. Let's ask Rach. What do you think about this? I am not a medical authority, but. Oh, did you hear? Also, I didn't listen to the to the podcast, but on Reddit, um, apparently Rachel had the flu recently, even though. You are not required to get the flu this year. She famously said that. She also famously said. I peed my pants. <laughs> I peed my pants. And. Ah. My pubic hair. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, JLB nerdy. Okay, so I am going to play. Oh, thank you, Fiona. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I am going to play the little part that's so funny, and hopefully it doesn't get demonetized. Okay. That night at the dinner table, the spirit came to make. Kelsey, welcome. To make his mouth never moved, but I could hear his voice speak to me. I am here for you. I am not a doctor. Okay, here... Ingrid, welcome. So now here's his disclosure. Now here is the part where I'm like, it really is on the user for responsibility. Now it's not fair. Welcome, Kim. That's not fair to say from me because the people who are so desperate have probably severe symptoms caused by an ununderstood illness probably from an understood illness, they have symptoms that have come from trying to treat that illness. Many places, when you're desperate for information, you're desperate to try anything. Oh, sorry, I miss whoever who just joined. Thank you, welcome. Um, it makes you vulnerable. It makes you want to try anything to solve the problems. And I, you know, it's, I get that. But at the same time, I even changed the, the name of the, um, originally from scammer to grifter, because a scam is when he, if he was to say to me, in my interpretation, is if he was to say, I'm a medical doctor, and then gave all this information and it was bullshit. He's a grifter because he's being honest about where he's getting his information. It's from nowhere. It's from his own brain that he's making up to, to suit his marketing plan, in my opinion, <laughs> because I don't believe in spirits talking to you and giving you, you know, celery cluster information or telling you specifically use this juicer from Amazon that is expensive. <laughs> um, but you know, if you're someone who's taking this advice and knowing that he's not a medical professional, it is on you in a lot of ways, as, as hard as that is to hear. And I, I feel badly because I understand where people are coming from and going, I don't care if it's from, you know, a, 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 like a tarot card, I'm going to try. I get that. But I think that's where it changes from grifting scamming and grifting it's like are you lying he's not lying that he's getting it from nowhere you know i could say like source energy told me that everyone should eat only wheat no dairy and then people could listen to that and go well she told me you know and it came from source energy it's like who's really to blame well i told you i got it from like airy fairy nowhere i don't know anyways that's just to say, he's telling the truth that he's not a medical professional. Uh, I am here for you. I'm not a doctor. I have no medical training, but I can tell you things about your health that no one else can. Yeah, I guess because you're nobody who knows nothing. So I guess you could tell me stuff about my health. That's not true. I can give you clarity on diseases that doctors often misdiagnose or treat incorrectly, or they just give up on and label it n mystery illness. Okay, this is the part. This is the part we gotta watch. Let's see. Oh. Okay, now little Anthony's gonna get up. Talk to his grandma. Okay, here it is. So now he's touching Same. his he's touching his grandma. Now this is gonna be from the spirit. <laughs> I just think it's funny because the little boy is so cute. The little actor. Say lung cancer. Lung cancer. <laughs> I didn't even know what those words meant. Say it again. Say lung. Lung. Now say cancer. Cancer. Now say grandma has lung cancer. <laughs> Grandma has lung cancer. 
谁谁冷，冷谁 cancer cancer。Now say grandma has lung cancer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Okay. <laughs> Then mom is horrified, even though we have no idea who his mom is and cannot ask her or have any interviews of mother、um, confirming nor denying if this actually ever happened.、Uh, so I guess it'll be a mystery.、Uh, okay, let's see. And say la say home. Whoa, no say cancer. That's not what he said, but I guess it's like the auto captions.、Uh, Grandma has lung cancer. When my husband canceled, hold on. Oh, I see. When my husband canceled, my grandmother visited her doctor, and the chest X-ray revealed she had lung cancer for over twenty years. Okay, so basically, he says he he put his hand on his grandma and said, "Lung cancer. Grandma has lung cancer." And allegedly, she went to the doctor and found out she did have lung cancer. Now. Again, no proof. Where's grandma? Where's mom? Where's his siblings? They don't exist. Apparently, they're not there.、Uh, they don't get to say, you know, that yes, my son. Like, and I'm sure, you know, if they were a part of the grift, if they were part of the the money making scheme that this is,、uh, in my opinion,、um, I'm sure they could say, yeah, he did that, and it would still, to me. Provide no evidence that anything happened,、um, or any phenomena at all. But the fact that they're not even there to agree with it is even more kind of surprising. Anyways, I've helped tens of thousands. Okay, for over twenty years, I've helped tens of thousands of people recover and heal from illnesses such as rheumatoid arthritis. Now, just take a look at the the listing of things he chooses. I don't think it's on. It's I don't think it's accidental. The things he chooses to point out, things that are hard to, you know, prove are there necessarily, or things that are more mysterious in nature. He talks about Lyme disease a lot. He talks about the Epstein Barr a lot. You know,、uh, fibromyalgia, things that are not as concrete as we see a tumor, we pulled the biopsy, it looks like this, it has this property where you can, you know, have a lot of information. These are the ones that are more mysterious. Anyways,、uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. Okay, also just things that are you know, again the more vague disorders that exist today, Lyme disease, and so much more. It's time for you to learn these secrets and gain control over your life. It's the way it's meant to be. It's the way spirit wanted it to be. There's the book. So exciting.、Um, okay, I want it now. Hear from him. I know I've like just read his words, but I just to me, okay, this is gonna be a judgment on his not appearance, but his delivery. He's a squirrely dude, in my opinion, and I don't know exactly what that means. But to me, it's just like he like I got some information, and I just like he's not the most charismatic person that's ever walked the earth, in my opinion. And so I think that's why he relies on the God-given gift of this like thing in his ear,、um, because he's a little odd. And almost it's like, is this because you're looking for a certain type of person that's going to buy into this, or what? I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the what the、uh, grift is there exactly.、Um, okay, before we move forward. <laughs> He's got a thing too, where he likes to wear like glasses for no reason, like sunglasses indoors. And maybe there is a reason that I just don't understand. But here is this is med- tell me that this isn't the most awkward celebrity endorsement video that you've seen in quite a while, and it seems like someone's holding like St- Sylvester Stallone hostage and forcing him to like record this video as Anthony stands there with like. A stalk of celery. Okay, here we go. Crazy rich. A- How you doing, guys? Okay, here we go. How you doing, guys? You know, my body has been through a lot of stuff, and when I find something that really, really works, I want to let you all know about it. This is Anthony William. He's the creator of the celery juice diet. Now, this is something that's been sweeping the world. Why? Why is it so popular? 
It's getting people better. It's actually changing the lives of millions of people right now across the globe. No, but it's, it's like mind blowing because yeah. Salvador's been around, let's just face it, since who knows? Yeah. And all of a sudden you turned it into this movement that's changing people's lives. Yeah, because you know, I got the information from my source of the originator of knowing that juicing it can heal almost anything. Okay. It's a big part of it. People are people are coming back from just been through so much. They're coming back from all kinds of illness. Yeah. They're getting better from drinking celery juice. You got to drink 16 ounces on an empty stomach. So you're saying if I keep drinking this stuff, I can do Rambo 10, That's 11, right. 12, right. 13. No, seriously. What? Uh, I know we only have a few seconds here, but as I. Why do we only have a few seconds? This is your own video, <laughs> allegedly in your own house by your own wanting to make this video. I know we only have a few seconds. What, that he bought? He only bought 20 seconds of your time and your endorsement? That sounds weird. Why would this be a timed video, Sylvester? A lot to my fans. I want to keep you around. I want to keep you healthy. I want to keep myself healthy. And this is the man who's done it all. So please get his book and keep drinking this stuff. And I, you know what? I'll see you in 100 years. Ciao. Asian was he How you doing, guys wasn't that weird <laughs> fresh oh my god what is that what is face off the boat was i hate facebook so much you, you literally cannot watch a video on facebook without another one st starting in the background they're like we're gonna get jay shetty up to a million views we're just gonna autoplay them immediately yeah very odd um there's another one that he sylvester stallone did uh which is, okay, let's see. Where did I put that one? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, maybe that, um, it's going to be on his here. Let's look at his video. We're going to watch the Jay Shetty interview because I also would like to dunk on Jay Shetty a little bit, <laughs> any opportunity I have. Uh, and Jay Shetty, another one, platforming this dude and just accepting his lies and bullshit as fact and like spreading it around to his followers. It's like, t do you have no responsibility? The answer is no, they don't take any responsibility. Um, but it's just odd. Okay, yeah, here's, here's he, if you didn't know, the Cyruses, uh, Miley and Noah Cyrus, the, I guess the whole family, it seems are very supportive of woo woo spirituality, bullshit, uh, pseudoscience stuff. So here's John Lennon, I mean, sorry, Anthony William talking to Noah Cyrus on her podcast. Uh, I don't know if it's worth listening to, but um, there's Jay Shetty. And then let's see, another one. That's like, what are, where are these celebrities? Like, what, what, he's just there at their house? How does, I need to know who his booker is. It's very, very odd. Now, this is a uh, Victoria's Secret model. If you, well, I, I think formerly, maybe still, I'm not sure, but she's a Victoria's Secret model. Why is he there at her home? <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. I'm here with Anthony William, medical medium, and hey. I'm super excited to share from the man himself who created this incredible celery juice um, phenomenon, really. And that I've personally been <laughs> on for the last six months, drinking my, you know, 16 ounces of celery juice on an empty stomach every morning. And I have personally noticed the benefits. And so I have the wonderful man here himself to tell you. In my kitchen, he just showed up at the door. <laughs> it's very weird, right? Like what? I don't know. Something's going on. About the incredible health benefits of drinking celery juice in the morning. One of the best things it does is it restores your hydrochloric acid and everybody's digestion is weak and they're bloated or they're constipated or they have problems out there with their digestion acid reflux and it repairs and heals the digestive system by repairing the hydrochloric acid, recovering it and fixing the liver, getting the liver stronger. That's the whole point, getting the liver stronger and getting people better. So it's amazing. And how much celery juice do you drink every morning? 16 I ounces. I like 24 ounces. 16 ounces on an empty stomach is like great. That's fantastic. I do like 24 ounces. Some people. He says he gets this information directly from God. Source, you know, spirit of compassion. Why does he get to have 24 ounces? But it's, you know, God's word that you have to have 16 ounces otherwise. And you can't mix it with anything else. And if you mix it with anything else, you will literally not get any benefits. And you want to know why? 
I don't know why, but this is what he says about it. <laughs> He's got a very strict protocol. Uh, hold on, here it is. Why 16 ounces? Okay, we don't, again, can't. Because he uses music, we're screwed here today. But here, here's his explanation of why 16 ounces. But for him, he gets to have 24 because he's special. Um, okay. So it's critical that you don't mix water, ice cubes, lemon, lime, other fruits and vegetables. Definitely not. Co don't mix corn into your celery juice in the morning. Collagen, apple cider vinegar, charcoal, protein powders, or anything in your celery juice. This is how it works. When you add those things in, you dilute the chemical compounds. So when you drink your celery juice like this, specifically, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I was suffering with like really difficult digestive problems. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Like constipation, lots of gas and bloating. Celery juice is the newest thing out there. Medical medium said this is the stuff. Cures everything. <laughs> I started noticing my body coming back to life right away. When you drink 16 ounces of celery juice on an empty stomach, that's where the magic is. That's where the miracle powers are. It enters into your gastric glands. It rebuilds them so they can produce hydrochloric acid to break down proteins so proteins don't rot in your gut. And then it goes into the small intestinal tract where it runs into food that you might have have you might have in there from the dinner before. Okay? Then it has to kill off pathogens, bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, unproductive fungus. Then it travels down and has to eventually get into the liver through the hep hepatic portal vein another thing why is it important for him if if the cure is celery right celery juice why does he why did he learn the terms and and he only he knows some things but not all things so why would he even spend the time to tell you about hydrochloric acid or hepatic portal vein it's to sound like he knows what the fuck he's talking about from like a medical perspective but if it's all spirituality anyways what's the point just trust me and believe because that's what we're doing anyways but he adds in all of this for anyone who's like not fully in there i guess like someone way more open and you know understanding or wanting to believe and things like this than i but it's like what's the point of having the science at all if it's like science means like okay if someone's standing there in front of me i can sense them i can see them i could touch them if i stood up there but if like now we're throwing that away that's scientific now it's like a, a voice in my head of a like i said a white man in a beard for some reason that's what the spirit of compassion looks like according to his book um telling me everything what's the point of it, including this other than to try to grift you into buying something because oh he must know what he's talking about he's using hepatic hepatic portal vein, you know, in casual conversation. Yeah, it's all optics. Once it's in your liver, it builds up your bile reserves, helping to improve your digestion by breaking down fats. Then after that, it heads to the gallbladder and starts to dissolve the gallstones. <laughs> okay. And that's why it has to be at least 16 ounces to have enough liquid to get through the entire obstacle course that you have in your body so you can heal and move forward. One of the first things that I started doing that I read from his book was the 16 ounces of celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach. I remember just feeling like, oh yes, this is what I needed. And it clicked instantly clicked for me the reason why you have to juice celery is because if you leave the pulp or the fiber in there it won't work <laughs> okay this is again like putting the mango in the quantum box what we talked about last week on the stream the mango frequency i have the sound bite but i switched the folder damn it the mango frequency I'll, I'll add it in a minute. Um, 
but basically the guy's like, you know, it's a box that has nothing. It's, it's, it's a meaningless box. It's a showpiece. It looks pretty. That's, it doesn't even look pretty, but it, that's the box has no powers, right? The Leela quantum box. But because he's like, you can only have it for 30 seconds and you have to charge it with this gold card and you have to put it in the box for 30, you give it this very precise protocol to do. It gives the illusion that it's doing something more than just, you're better off to just sit there and pray and go, please, I don't want to be sick anymore. That's going to have the same effect. But because you're giving someone step one, step two, and saying it's very serious that you do it in this way, it gives that placebo effect in my opinion, that it works. Like, oh, I'm following a strict protocol. Like the doctor told me, Dr. Anthony told me, uh, you know, I got to drink 16 ounces, no less, no ice cubes. How is your body going to know the ice cube versus the celery juice is any different when it's going through your obstacle course of a body? It wouldn't. It makes no sense. Oh, the fiber, you can't digest the fiber, only the juice? Okay, When you leave the fiber and the pulp, you're trapping the medicine, slowing it down, stopping your digestion. So you can't get the medicine to work. Okay. If you drink tea, you don't eat the tea bags. Yeah, but you could. It's just a taste thing. I don't think it's going to slow down your digestion of the tea. You have to extract the medicine out of it and consume it without the pulp and the fiber. It's the only way it's going to help you heal. Of course, there you go. So that's the key, everybody. In case you wanted to take something uh, out of this video, now you know how to do it. Uh, and just here's, just here's just one example before we get to the Jay Shetty part. Here's him talking about chemtrails chemtrails the sky is falling why he would have to say anything about this is beyond me but i think he knows that his audience and people that fall prey to this type of thing believe that you know holding a crystal up to the sky is protecting them from chemtrails or at least a sect of his followers probably believe that and so it's important to talk about the things that they're talking about and are afraid of um to make sure that you know I don't know, that they're aligning on the same topics, I guess. Uh, And so this is a podcast episode where he talked about chemtrails. If you listen to it, you will learn the shocking truths from Spirit of Compassion about chemtrails, how they affect us all, and what your body needs from you to protect your health. His first, so Anthony's first experience with chemtrails was as a child, of course, when Spirit of Compassion explained to me that there are contrails and then there are man-made poison trails where man is poisoning man. Also, you'll notice in his podcast, in his, in his writing, it's very, very simple. I think also very similar to how Jay Shetty made his videos very famous and how um, Darman made his videos very famous. He speaks like this and tries to enunciate all of the words so that if you are a newly English speaker, you will also benefit greatly from this type of content. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing to make content that is easily understood by people who don't speak English as their first language. However, I think it also, again, plays into the vulnerable population and people who aren't maybe educated as much. He really tries to focus on those people through his writings and through his speech. This harsh truth I learned as a child is what we now know as chemtrails. So I call it the chemtrail game. Chemtrails and animals, when bees are docile and seen crawling on the ground, people often assume they are misplaced, but instead are dying a slow death, okay? Each new generation doesn't know how to clear, oh, sorry, doesn't know how clear and blue the sky was in the past. We were born and raised with the new sky, and that is all we know. We have become frogs in a pot of boiling water, just like the frog that doesn't know the temperature in the water has changed until it's too late. We don't realize the sky is becoming less blue. Okay. And of course, 
You can support your liver and flush out these harmful toxins that are definitely in the sky. He recommends bringing these tools from the medical medium into your life. Lemon water, celery juice, and the heavy metal detox smoothie. That's another one that he really pushes is the heavy metal detox smoothie, which is full of blueberries that he just happens to be affiliated with a company that sells wild blueberry mix juice. Um, okay, so he's going to talk about the hidden history of chemtrails and the secrets behind the planes you see in the sky. Flocks of birds dying all at once. We're losing our bees and sea life washing up on the... So basically, any phenomenon in the world, anything that cannot be explained just by, you know, oh, X caused Y to happen. Medical medium is going to come in, do a podcast about it and explain it because, you know, the guy in his ear is telling him all of these mysterious things that are going on. Now, he won't tell you something that's already been proven. He's just going to tell you things that can't be proven. And then I guess if they're proven differently, like if they've come up with a reason why the all the birds fell from the sky and all the fish died, then he'll say, no, they're actually wrong. They just haven't discovered the real reason yet. So no matter what, he always has the right answer, no matter what. And even if um, someone gets diagnosed with something else, like from a real doctor, he'll say, oh, well, they also have this, you know, Epstein-Barr too, or Epstein-Barr caused the other diagnosis. So again, if he gets it right, he's right. If he gets it wrong, he's also right, (laughs) no matter what. Okay, uh, it is not enough in the health world today to just be a health expert. You need to know why you are sick. Why? The answer is is celery juice, water, and a detox smoothie, which is your solution to everything anyway. So why? what is the point of knowing that it's a chemtrail or not? Anyways, okay, let's go to the Jay Shetty video. Uh, I would like to hear from the medical medium. I want to hear his voice so you can see what I'm talking about. And then um, I also want to play some news clips because I'm pissed. I'm pissed about it because I give him credibility where he does not deserve it whatsoever. So, Jay Shetty, Medical Medium. Oh, thank you. Angela Arnold, thank you so much. Angela says, wait, where's Lisa? Lisa? Oh, hold on. Lisa is. I'm outside the Cheesecake Factory waiting for it to open. That's where she is. Mic drop, homie. What up, homie? She's hanging with her homies. Uh, That's where she's at. Also. mm, Bold face lie. She's not. She's probably hanging out with Tom and having sex (laughs) according to her instagram that's all they do and they love each other so much which who knows maybe true uh thank you again angela um okay here we go uh this is the powerful herb is healing millions i didn't know that celery was an herb okay anthony william medical medium okay let's hear from jay shetty the 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 shining light of this world who you know is the only monk ever probably not the only monk one of the most famous monks ever uh who lives in an eight million dollar mansion but somehow can preach about uh living with less and being grateful for what you have it's it's really ironic we don't have to listen to this whole thing you know, it's an hour long, so we'll see how much we can get through, and then I'll start reading from the book a little bit. Yeah, where's Colleen? There's Colleen! Hel- is Helen here? Shout out to Helen. <laughs> Are you Rachel? Yes. All right, here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to On Purpose, the number one health podcast in the world. Thanks to each and every one of you for learning, listening, and growing with us. Thank you so much for prioritizing your growth in work, self, and love. You're welcome. And like you know, every week I'm trying to find guests that are going to give you really raw... That are going to give you really bad information, who are going to scam you out of millions of dollars if you let them, and who will definitely... 
Lie, cheat, and steal. Okay, here we go. Authentic, genuine advice. People who are coming at this from new angles, new ideas, fresh perspectives that can genuinely help you transform your life and move it forward. Isn't it so awkward that he's sitting right here? Like his face is like half in this shot. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. And today's guest will not disappoint. I'm genuinely so grateful and excited for this person for making time, making space in their life for coming. And Jay's not looking at him either. It's very weird. This is just like a video, <laughs> videographer's critique. Okay, you're gonna, your face is gonna be right here, but I'm gonna look at the camera, not at you, and you're gonna be in the shot. Never do this if you have a podcast. <laughs> on and being on the podcast. His name is Anthony William and he's the originator of the global celery juice movement. He's a four times number one New York Times bestselling author and today's the launch of his new book which is called Celery Juice, the most powerful medicine of our time healing millions worldwide. Anthony, thank you so much for being here. An incredible introduction. I'm honored. I can't even believe it. Um, it's it's so awesome being here. Well, it's awesome. Yeah, you yeah, have I to think. do it all, so it's all true. <laughs> hey, I'm just... It's not all true, Jay. Shut up. It's not all true. You have to do it all. What, make up shit and sell crap to people? Yeah, he's doing it. That That's tough. Just, I'm so happy to be here. Happy to talk to your audience. So much to talk about. Lots of cover on health, things that are life changing, things that move the needle. And that's what matters. You know, when you're sick with chronic illness and you're trying to get better and you can't move that needle forward and you know, and you're stuck in it and you're just in the trenches of it all. And then something takes you further along and you finally start experiencing a benefit. You start getting better. Like say the celery juice is one of the most powerful healing tools out there. And when you start moving forward, it's life changing. Like no other when people are stuck when they're actually really stuck in the trenches of what i call hell basically chronic illness and they finally yeah chronic illness so surprisingly oh that's the one sector of healthcare that really is mysterious oh all of a sudden all of the people who want to rip people off they head over there because people are desperate for answers. Like I said, they don't have a lot of solutions. There aren't a lot of treatments for people who have these illnesses that aren't detectable by doctors. And I don't know what the solution is. I don't know either, but I know it's not listening to this dude. And if you want to try it, it's like, go for it. There's nothing harming you from trying to drink celery juice and seeing if it works for you at all. My concern is that you listen to this guy when it, becomes a real issue you're diagnosed with something that is detectable you have cancer and now you're like well you know i drank celery juice and it made me feel better so i should just keep doing that and not get treatment because you know god would obviously tell me or tell him if i really needed to go get a treatment done this guy saying just drink celery juice it's fine that's where I get concerned. And the second thing is, if you can believe this, you're gonna believe anything else too. Any Anything else someone tells you and goes, yeah, you know, you sh any sales tactic can probably work on you. And that's concerning as well because maybe it's not dangerous today, but in 10 days, it, the new guy that comes out says even more crazy shit and you're buying it. And I think it's important that you stay alert on these things, anyways. Only see the light and that matters. That's why I'm here. Absolutely. And I love that energy, man, because I think you're so right that so many of us today are so stuck. And a lot of the time we've tried everything. Or I hear that a lot That's where people are like, I've tried everything. That's like I've happens. been to my doctor, I've been to this person. Like I tried my weird thing that my aunt comes up yeah. with. Like, you know, I've tried all of these things. And the thing is, it's not like those are bad. Those are all good things because everybody's got a piece of the puzzle. You got the best doctors out there. You got functional medicine doctors. You got alternative guys. You got conventional guys, girls, all of them. They're girls. all working hard on their patients and people. People have compassion. Doctors are the most incredible people. The compassion to wake up in the morning, go to the office and work work on person after person after person like they do and hear their stories and hear their cries. Doctors are unbelievable. That's what he says in this interview. And I was sort of surprised. I didn't listen to this whole thing. I listened to like the first 10 minutes or so. I was surprised to hear him say that. But if you read this book, he doesn't have that same like, oh, they're re they really care. They really care. It's like they're wrong. They don't help you. You need to listen to me for advice. So I'm sort of interested and surprised that he is taking this approach. I guess maybe someone told him like, oh, you know, doctors may not support you as much or may come after you if you keep, you know, railing on them. Maybe.
tool and this tool, there's a lot of good tools out there, right? But what happens is there's some things people don't even know about yet that, that plug into what they're doing. Say they're doing a keto diet or say they're doing a paleo diet, say they're doing a vegan diet, say they're doing a plant-based diet and they're not getting all the results they need and they're all confused and everybody's flip-flopping from vegan to paleo to paleo to vegan and everybody's all upset. But when you plug in something like the celery juice and you know how to use it, you can move forward forward wherever you are. You can plug this into what you're doing. It's tools like that, that literally move. The oh my God. That's such a good point. Yeah. Why do you have to have, why, why does he have like some hair issues? It looks like, and, uh, need glasses. Like, w isn't there a way, a solution? Can't you just, you know, take the right vitamin to, uh, stop that from happening? Cause he talks about looking younger, feeling younger, being more energetic. Like, isn't there something for, you know, eyesight? Great point, potato candy, I like your name the needle and change the lives of millions. And right now, hundreds of millions are drinking celery juice. It's the most powerful healing movement of our time and day. And I want everybody to actually be part of it because why miss out? What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do it? You're not gonna partake in something that could change your life? Absolutely. So I want everybody to know this isn't one of those scams or farces. This is that <laughs> powerful. When you use this herbal medicine, something changes inside of us. I no, it's definitely a scam for sure, or a scheme, or not a cure-all for sure. I mean, we all know that, right? We all know that. A lot of people don't know that, but okay. I love that. And I can't wait to uncover that with you in this podcast and in the live that we're about to do. I can't wait to get into all the details, but I want to take it backwards slightly sure, because I want people to understand where you're coming from. Absolutely. And, and I want people to understand your background, your journey, and just behind the mind, you know, inside the mind yeah, of, yeah. of Anthony. So I want to go back to you being four years old Yeah, and you're four <laughs> years old and you literally without any help, any support, whatever it is, yeah. you literally let your grandmother know she had, she's, she had lung cancer. She had lung cancer. Yeah. Were, she was symptom free. Like no one knew it. Yeah, time. not at all. No. And then they check. Prove it. This is coming from the him. Like the way that Jay in this, you know, I, not that I thought he had credibility at all before, but for sure, for sure, there is no like follow up. Like, so you're so, not even like, so you're telling me your grand, in, interesting story. He's like, this is a fact that happened. Your grandmother didn't know she had lung cancer and you, you diagnosed her. Wow. Amazing. Like this is being presented in such a, a flagrantly, I don't even know the word flagrantly disrespectful way or a, a way that's like, yeah, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a trillionaire. Oh, you're a trillionaire? Yep, I am. There's no follow up. There's no checking. There's no where, you know, tell me more. How, what did, I don't know. What's her name? Nothing. It's just like accepted as fact. Red flag, number one million. This situation is a red flag. Yeah. And you were spot on. Yeah. Woke up one morning and heard a voice perfectly clear. You know, people say, wait a minute, how does he get this advanced medical information that's decades ahead of research and science? You know, I know scientists, I know, I know incredible doctors, lab technicians, and they Name say them. his information is advanced, whether anybody likes it or not, whether the. What? No one has said that. <laughs> Show me the where that someone has said that, that it's advanced information. And the thing is, you can always just keep saying, well, it's even more advanced. Like, let's say the study shows that there is no bullshit, you know, he says that there's these cluster salts on celery, right? There is nothing that science says is a cluster salt that doesn't exist, I guess, in scientific terms. So if he goes, well, now his response can be, well, it's just not, it's just not discovered yet. And in 10, 20 years when they go, yep, we did the study. There is no such thing as cluster salts. He can go, well, my information is from even further down the line. And you can just keep pushing the can down the road until he has a zillion trillion dollars and he dies. The source he hears it from, you don't agree with, or you're not happy about, this voice he hears that he heard at four years old that diagnosed his grandmother of lung cancer, and from there on, this is all he's ever done. And people are like, hey, you know what? I don't know, do I trust this? And I no. totally understand. I totally get it. A guy that hears a voice, when you really know the origin of it, you know, it's hard. But when lab technicians and scientists and, and doctors that when? are elevated in the field of medicine say his advanced information,
like Epstein-Barr causing Hashimoto's thyroiditis. He was the first to actually bring that out before they even knew that's what was happening. And when they say, hey, he's advanced with this information and he, it's about getting people better, we got to kick back a little bit. We got to calm down and say, okay, let's listen to this because this is... And anyone can say anything. Again, like I could go and say... You know, I really think tobacco smoke causes cancer. Now, I could have said that in the 50s and people would have been like, yeah, it, there seems to be a correlation. Or, you know, s gas station attendants, I think gasoline, sniffing gasoline all day gives people headaches. I, anyone can say anything. You know, staring at the sun for 30 minutes gives people migraines. Yes, but I'm not a medical professional. So who the fuck cares what I have to say? You know, it's not that he's the first person to ever just make up something in their mind. Yeah, he, he's not the first person. He's the, but so, so what? Like just coming up with a theory is called a hypothesis. It's not proving dick. <laughs> And so having Jay Shetty shake his head as if this is like mind blowing information, it's bullshit. It's very irresponsible. Great word. Sorry. Someone said it in the chat. Very irresponsible. I agree. That was the word I was looking for. And also while we're, while we're here, here's like, okay, I'm in the book talking about the voice. So, okay. So, so he's talking about the voice and this goes into a little bit more detail about, about his, um, his visitor, right? Okay. As the mysterious visitor continues to greet me every morning, I start to pay attention what he sounds like. His crystal clear voice is somewhere between baritone and tenor. <laughs> A bit on the low side, but not very low. It has depths, depth and renaissance. Resonance, sorry. Even though he's near my right ear, his speech has the stereo effect of surround sound. Okay, this is very important. The visitor is loudest in the morning. It's hard to gauge his age. Sometimes he sounds like an exceptionally strong, healthy 80 year old matching the gray man I saw at dinner. At other times he sounds thousands of years old. Okay, how does a thousand year old person sound? Because I don't think we have anything to be able to have that frame of reference. You might say he has a soothing voice, yet constantly hearing a voice is hard to get used to. The voice isn't internal. It is not thoughts I'm thinking. It is not my own inner voice. I can separate my own thoughts from the voice I hear. It's a voice that comes from an outside source directly above my right ear as if someone were standing next to it. I can't will it to go away. I can physically block it. When I put my hand in front of my ear, I can make the voice voice sound very faint. As soon as I move my hand away, he's at full volume again. I ask him to stop talking to me. At first, I'm polite about it. Then I'm not. It doesn't matter what I say, though. He talks whenever he wants to. I start calling the voice by name, Spirit of the Most High. Sometimes I call him Spirit for short or Most High. <laughs> God. By age eight, I hear spirit continually throughout the day. He tells me about the physical health of anyone I encounter. No matter where I am or what I'm doing, I'm told about the aches, pains, and illnesses of whoever's nearby, and also what the person needs to do to become better. Doesn't that sound like diagnosing to me? That is practicing medicine without a license, in my opinion. The relentless of relentlessness of this ongoing and intimate information is extremely stressful. I ask spirit to stop telling me these things. I don't want to know. He says, okay, quote, we're not here on this earth very long. And quote, spirit says, we can't waste any time. He tells me that he's trying to teach me as much as possible in the short time we have together, and we can't spare a moment. Hearing this devastates me. Somehow I believe that life is so long that it feels like we live forever. I feel my childhood slipping away with the grim reality of this truth Spirit has just shared. When I tell Spirit this job is too demanding, he ignores me. So again, so this is not a selfish endeavor. This is not a scam. This is not one of those things where he's trying to make money. This is a... This is take, took away his childhood. This is taking away his comfort, his support, everything. It's horrible to have this gift to be able to heal millions of people worldwide and make millions of dollars while doing it. It's just so horrible. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's read a little bit, or let's play a little bit more and I'll find some other good parts. 
different. This is actually really helping people. And at four years old, that's what happened. It was information coming through perfectly clear. I heard, heard it straight in a voice right to me. And it's, I've been using that ever since, not just my grandmother with that. What happened was, in 1975, in the fall of 1975, had another family member with a back. Okay, 1975, but doesn't say how old he was then. Okay, so again, we, tell me if you find it, how old this dude is, because there is no information. He'll answer the question, people will ask him because he does live, live streams a lot. People, will, how old are you? How old are you? And he'll, he'll give these like, oh, well, in 1975, I showed you photos of when I was a child. And it's like, well, how old were you? Just how old are you? And he will not answer the question. And I honestly think it's because I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. I think people don't want to be able to go through like birth records and find this dude. I don't know. He doesn't want to confirm his age because then I guess you could confirm who he is and who his legal like paperwork is perhaps. And then you could find what high school he went to and what school and find his parents. And then you would find out he's a total fraud. I don't know for sure, but it says like he's like 25 online. I'm like, wouldn't you want to look like you're older? Wouldn't, why would you put 25 as like your Wikipedia? Back problem, a back problem that wouldn't, it wouldn't ease off. It, the doctors didn't know what was really causing the back problem. It wasn't an injury. It was an inflammatory condition, a mystery back injury or a mystery back inflamed problem where they're suffering. They couldn't yeah. walk, right? Yeah. And, and late 1975, Spirit, which I call Spirit, the voice said, celery juice. This is when it started, celery juice for this family member. We didn't have really any kind of juicer. Look look what year it is, look what's going on. We were What's your family member's name? What's your grandma's name? We never get any information. Weren't prepared. They had the blender, the beat up old blender. We ground up that celery, right? And we strained it with a cheesecloth and we just strained it out. And and a family member was, was a skeptic about celery juice. Well, what do you mean? Celery juice. Drank it and started recovering that night, <gasps> slowly recovering. <sighs> and then at the end of the week, out of the woods with this back from walking. And it's that kind of thing right there. And yes, the voice tells me what to do. So that's what I, I've done. Dedicated my life helping people but giving them information jay shetty this is embarrassing you should be totally ashamed of yourself for having this guy on and shaking your head as if this is like not the most bullshit thing you've ever heard in your life you cannot trust these people that even doctors want to know there are thousands of doctors thousands where name one <laughs> in the, this country alone with the medical medium series books in their offices where pa patients have brought them in and they and the doctors are they're smart they read it and say wait a minute this is different what wait a minute the ramblings of a madman mm. why why haven't i had this sooner the thing is if this guy murdered somebody, if this guy said a voice in my right ear that that somehow becomes a stereo sound told me to stab my entire family to death, that would be everyone in the world would go, oh my God, this guy's nuts. That's horrible. He's got a very severe mental illness. He needs to be institutionalized, hospitalized, put in prison forever for everyone's safety and his own safety, right? That would be a collective, I think, answer for, from everybody. But the fact that this is commercialized and part of the capitalist system, factory, you know, uh, oh, it's fine. He's helping people. You can't criticize that. It's the same exact mental illness hearing voices in your head that are telling you to do things, how is that any different? Because the outcome is positive. It's ridiculous. Oh, wait, he's talking about viruses. He's talking about pathogens. He's talking about things we don't know about viruses and pathogens that's not anywhere. And also- Because you made it up, bro. So what to do, which is one of the tools, the celery juice. I love selling stuff online. <laughs> Proves my point. <laughs> I gotta write that down. What time is this? Hold on. I love selling stuff online. Yeah, we know. We know, Jay Shetty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that information. One, one, 21. Okay. Lord have mercy. Okay, here we go.
This is his ad. He loves selling stuff online. Discount code PURPOSE at checkout. That's foursigmatic, F-O-U-R-S-I-G-M-A-T-I-C dot com forward slash purpose. And what I'm more interested in, because I've seen all of that research, I've seen people say of all of your incredible background and the studies and the research and the fact that it's worked for people, yeah. how, how, how are you glossing over, oh, the, the research, the this and the this and the this. Where is that? Don't gloss over that. Let's hear the experts. Which experts? Hold on. Slash purpose. And what, okay, this part. What I'm more interested in because I've seen all of that research. I've seen what research? I've seen people say of all of your incredible background and the study. What? What are you even saying? I've heard the re what research? What people talking about his incredible background? Studies in the research and the the studies and the research. What? What is this? The fact that it's worked for people. That's the only thing that he has is people claim to the with a death grip that it works for them. I will not deny that there is a lot of people out there, whether they're bots or not, I don't know, whether they're AI generated accounts, who knows, who's to say? Uh, there are people that say it works for them. That's all we got, that's everything. That is, that is not science. Go back to school, go back to the fourth grade and learn what scientific method is. Yeah. How did you start to trust that voice? Because I almost feel like that's sometimes harder it's like trusting yeah. your own, oh, yeah. it's trusting a voice that's coming to you. How, oh, yeah. how was that process for you? I was making money. You know money. what it is, is when you, when you see it working in front of your own eyes. The results. You know, when I was 13 years old and a stock boy in a little grocery store and that voice. What grocery store? It's all these vague, when I was a 14 year old boy in an undisclosed location, uh, I was a grocery boy at an undisclosed grocery store. <laughs> is telling me, you know, why someone has diabetes or what's going on or what's happening with them or, or the brain tumor that they have or something that's going on. And the voice is telling me what's happening inside their bodies and what they need. You just, you just, it, you can't avoid it. You can't ignore it. It's not one of those things. You just say, well, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm. You know, it's not what you're, you're in it and you just, you go with it and you keep on working you know, forward to help people and change and change their lives. It's so critical. Absolutely. So how, let's get on to the seller juice. Yeah, how sure. did you start discovering the secret behind this herb? Like, how did you start seeing that it had such a powerful effect? Like, how did you first uncover? Because I think there are just so many vegetables out there. You can make so many juices. Yeah, yeah. People have drank probably the wrong juices for such a long time. He told you the, the fake voice in his ear told him celery juice to help his undisclosed family member heal an undisclosed back injury. <laughs> Jay. Long time. Yeah. But and, I, where did it start? All juices are great. That's the thing. All juices are great. They offer benefits. And, and a lot of people, they get confused and they say, well, why would celery juice by itself do anything for you? And one of the reasons is it's an herb. It's not a vegetable. It's an right, actual true. herb and herbal medicine is powerful. I mean, if anybody's listening out here, do you like herbs on any level? What herbs are your favorite? There's so many people that are into any kind, they're into herbs, that's the whole thing. You got Chinese medicine, you got Ayurvedic, you got all this, herbs are powerful. And there's herbalists out there, there's doctors out there, natural doctors, you know, and, and herbs are a big part of our lives. Well, why do they do? Okay, just I s Google search. This is from Science Direct. I don't know if that's legitimate. Let's see. Flexible, okay, The Guardian says, let me show you, hold on. Herb or vegetable, flexible celery is both and more. Okay, so it is a vegetable too. So that's not even accurate, cool. Got it. Things for us, they, because they're very healing. Well, celery has been, it's, it, no one knew. And that's the thing. I mean, even when I heard it from the voice originally, perfectly clear, celery, juice the celery. Oh, wait. Wait, are we? Wait, what happened? Are there, are there bots or are, are we offline? Celery boy. Let's see. Uh, hello, am I here?
I don't have audio. Oops. My back. Hello. Hi. Okay. Yay! We did it. I don't know if that was Jay Shetty's doing or or medical mediums doing. Yay! We've returned. Man, I guess I guess um I guess uh Celery is really good for you guys. Celery is the best thing. It's not even a vegetable anymore, you guys. I had a voice in my head that told me celery is really good for you. It's also good on tuna sandwiches. Anyways. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't know. Who's to say who's who's mad today? I, I'm surprised there's not more uh, fans <laughs> flooding the comments. Well, we can read a little bit more. And then maybe we can watch some of his live streams um, or we can watch some extra uh, segments. I just like this one because you hear him for a long time talking and he sounds like a weirdo. Okay. Um, here's some more uh, martyrdom of the medical medium. Here, let's go to this, this shot. <clears throat> so, so the spirit's like, we want you random man from unknown city at unknown time to be the healer of the entire world right okay so uh so this is this is how high up this spiritual voice is right okay so he's asking he says where are you this is medical meeting goes who are you what are you where did you come from and why are you here spirit replies first i will tell you what i am not i am not an angel and I am not a person. I was never a human being. I am not a ghost or a spirit guide either. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's not a spirit guide. Hello, brother. Oops. Can I get by? Wrong one. My guardian angels, my spirit guides. That's not what this is, okay? Uh, I am a word. All right. I blink fast, trying to take this all in. All I can think to ask is, which word? Spirit replies, compassion. I'm not sure how to respond, but I don't need to. Spirit keeps talking. I am literally the living essence of the word compassion. I sit at the fingertip of God. Spirit, I don't understand. Are you God? No, the voice replies. At the fingertip of God sits a word, and that word is compassion. I am that word, a living word, the closest word to God. I shake my head. How can you be just a word? This sounds like a manifesto. <laughs> I hate to say it. I mean, I don't hate to say it, but it's okay. Uh, I, okay. I shake my head. How can you be just a word? A word is an energy source. Certain words hold great power. God pours light into words such as I and instills us with a breath of life. I am more than a word. Is there anyone else like you, I ask? Yes, faith, hope, joy, peace, and more. They are all living words, but I sit above all them because I am the closest to God, of course. And of course, the closest to God would pick Anthony <laughs> to talk to. Uh, do these words speak to people too? Not as I do to you. These words are not heard by the ear. They live in each person's heart and soul, as do I. Words such as joy and peace do not stand alone in the heart. They require compassion to be complete. Okay, blah, 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 blah. He talks about why it's better than peace and it's better than joy and da, da, da. Okay. Um, okay. I am compassion and no other sits above me but God. Trying to make sense of this, I ask, then what is God? God is a word. God is, so he's also going to tell us what the meaning of life is, who God is. 
of course. God is, wor- is a word. God is love, which is above all other words. God is also more than a word because God loves all. God is the most powerful source of existence. People can love, but people do not love all others unconditionally. God does. It's too much for me to process. I end the conversation with one personal question. Do you talk to anyone else? Because if you do, I'm thinking I'm going to seek them out so I don't have to feel so alone. Quote, the angels and other godly beings look to me for guidance. I provide all who care to listen with the lessons and wisdoms of God, says Spirit of the Most High, who I realize is Spirit of Compassion. But on earth, I speak directly only to you. Okay, so once again, to recap that, the voice is not God, but it's one fingertip below, and that highest you know, spirit who is somehow affiliated with God only talks to this man, this man right here. Okay. How logical and realistic is that? Why would they make him look like that? I'm sorry to say, <laughs> but like, why him? Give me any reason why him specifically. Uh, okay. So he's talking about like, you know, this is a lot to absorb. So he did the grandma diagnosis at four, but then at eight, he's able to converse with the spirit. So it's a lot for him to take in. I want to read the part about the, the car. Uh, because this relates to the Healy that we talked about last week where, okay. Um, where he says he, he used to go to the, when he was first developing his powers, he went to the local mechanic shop to uh, to tell all of the mechanics what was wrong with the car before they opened up the hood. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, here's another one, though. <clears throat> the one and only medical medium. While there are obvious disadvantages to having a voice continually talk into my ear, there are also some advantages. Because spirit of compassion is distinct and separate from me, it doesn't matter if on a given day I'm feeling upset or ill or bored. Spirit is unaffected by my emotions and will consistently provide powerful advanced information ahead of medical research and science about chronic illness and how to heal. It's the same process as when I was a child. Regardless of what my life struggles are, even if I'm in no condition in the moment to process what spirit of compassion is telling me. For example, if I've only had two hours of sleep because of certain challenges occurring in my life, okay, the information will still come through. Focusing and concentrating on the intricate specificities take work. I don't have to use my intuitive skills. I don't channel the information either. Other mediums sometimes hear inner voices, but mine isn't. So he's the best. Is he the only medium? He is. Mine isn't, it isn't internal. People seeking help ask me, should I take off my jewelry to allow you to get a better read? It doesn't matter if they're wrapped in tin foil. The information is still going to come through and they're going to get the answers they need to move forward. I often asked if spirit of compassion can help me with my family, loved ones, and even myself to get physical and spiritual information. The answer is yes. Again, because spirit is separate from me. All I have to do is ask and he tells and shows me what is best to know. This is one of those things that makes this gift unique okay one day a skeptical reporter from an unnamed uh source one day a skeptical reporter demands i give her an answer on the spot i want you to tell me where it hurts does it hurt in my toe my leg my stomach does it hurt in my arm my butt do i even hurt at all let's see what your voice says spirit of compassion immediately tells me she does hurt she hurts on the left side of her head chronic migraines torment her i reach over touch the left side of her head and say spirit tells me you hurt here she starts crying and then everybody clapped <laughs> That's the level of instant accuracy spirit provides. If I get a call at 2 a.m. from a mom whose daughter is about to go into emergency surgery and the mom wants to know if the right if it's the right choice, I have to be able to help the doctor determine in that moment if that little girl merely has a bad case of food poisoning or if her appendix is about to explode. Yeah. So if you're do- if you're taking your daughter to the emergency room because you don't know if it's you know, just a bad case of food poisoning or an appendix exploding, definitely delay the drive there. Call this 
you know, psychopath and ask him and then put, you know, put the doctor on the phone and he'll tell you because yeah, they definitely don't have the tools to be able to determine that at the hospital for sure. It's important to see whether someone's recovering or is bleeding internally. If a child's fever is due to the flu or meningitis, if someone is suffering from heat sickness or is about to have a stroke, Spirit of Compassion delivers this information every time so it can be conveyed to their doctor. That's a bold ass statement. How is this legal? How is this legal? How is this legal? (laughs) I don't know. I I wonder myself every day. Every day. Okay, I'm trying to find the car because it is hilarious. Uh, Let's see. And then then there's all these case studies about like, this person got good results from my, my thing. You know, it's, uh, it's real. Take my word for it. It's real. And then it goes into Epstein Bar is everything and everywhere. I wish I wonder if I can look it up. If I can look up like car mechanic. Anyways, um, let's play the extra uh, clip because this is where I start to get real pissed off. Because, again, gives legitimacy to somebody that does not deserve legitimacy. If you want to spew this stupid shit online... You know, I disagree with it, but go for it. But the fact that people who are appearing to be legitimate journalists are sitting there giving this guy any second of their time or their millions of dollars studio shocks me and makes me very upset. And I used to be the biggest like supporter of media. Like people would be like, the media is biased. The media is, and I would get so mad. I'm like, shut up. Journalists like really try to do their best. They're all there. Like we're, you know, we're all, as I was in that world at that time, I'm like, we really care about things. And you know, this is just a, a like fake news type of propaganda that makes it seem like the media is bad. I still think that is so, sort of true, but when stuff like this happens, I go, I understand why people are untrusting because you are not doing your due diligence and finding stories that are legitimate. Anyways, here we go. He's taken the world by storm with his books on helping people overcome illness and disease. With me now, Anthony William. Hi. Hey, good to be here. Good to see you again. <laughs> I mean, every time I see you, I feel like a, a gazillion more people are talking about celery juice. Yeah. You have started this yeah congrats you know it's the single most powerful healing remedy there is and that's why it's this movement started grassroots i started long ago and it's built up built up because of a storm of people healing getting Mm. better reversing their eczema psoriasis their acne their gout their diabetes getting better things that are getting better what a random list, right? <laughs> Gout, acne. So if you have mild symptoms or severe symptoms, this can help you. When they were already doing healthy things, but nothing was moving the needle, mm-hmm. and they brought in the celery juice, the 16 mm-hmm. ounces on an empty stomach, and they brought that in every single day, every single morning, and it's turned the tide. It's like getting people out of that stuck mode. It's pushing them forward like never before in history with a remedy like this. And it's natural, it's just celery juice, Mm. but it has to be celery juice by itself. That's a mistake made all the time. Okay, I wanted to ask you, because a lot of people are putting lemon in it. Does that change It changes it, it stops it from working. How, how would would your body know that, no, no, this is, you didn't get enough pulp out. Now it's not gonna work. You put a little bit of lemon on top because it tastes like ass, No, we're not working. How does your body, is there something I'm missing? Can the spirit, hello, spirit, can I ask you a question? Why does lemon ruin it? I don't get it. Because there's something in there that science and research hasn't discovered yet. It's called sodium cluster salts, and they get neutralized when you put things in there in the wrong way. So basically it diffuses the power this holds. Uh. It has to be fresh has to be by itself. It can't have all this different stuff in it. Can't have uh, products in there. Like it can't have collagen in it. Can't have apple cider vinegar. You can't put lemon in it. You can't put water in it. You ruin. Okay, lemon, fine. Lemon, I could, no, I, it's not fine. This is like the, the straw man, straw man. Like this whole argument's stupid. But if we are trying to like logically, you know, understand the logistics of this, it's like, okay, lemon, it's like, well, that has acidity. Maybe it turns, you know, it could, 
throw off the balance of but water what do you think the the, the celery juice is it's fucking water <laughs> So how would your body know, oh, this is water and this is celery juice water? It's like, it still comes from the sky. It comes from the same place. Okay. It's the whole, I've actually helped people heal for decades with this. It has to be by itself. It can't have things in it. But we're, you know, people just want to stick things in it. Of course, they just want to put all different things in there and change it. And they that's just the way better. it works. They want it to taste differently. Or they think they got a great idea. Let's put this in it. And yeah. they just ruin it. But the reason why people are healing is it's by itself. The medical medium community knows this. They're the people that are healing. You go to my Instagram page, you'll see them by the thousands mm. healing and reversing their conditions. So it's incredible, it really is. Why on an empty stomach? Because on an empty stomach, because you need everything empty enough to get the power of this to travel through you and do what it needs to do. So if you have food in your system, then you, <laughs> then, then it won't work through you. Like, didn't he say the night before you have like dinner? So it's an empty stomach, but like, it doesn't mean your entire body is empty and it's going to go through. It's like, he's just trying to explain like, oh yes, like obviously you, you drink it here and then it goes down immediately to your gallstones. It's like, that's not how the body works. So it needs to go to the liver. It needs to help cleanse the liver. It needs to kill off. It still would do that if you ate something earlier that day or had a little bit of water with it. Like, I don't understand how that changes anything. Bugs that are inside of people, giving them autoimmune disorders and all kinds of different. Oh yeah, this is another big thing right now is, oh, everyone has parasites. Everyone has bugs that are causing every illness that you have. And you should like take this snake oil literally to, to get the bugs out of you. It's ridiculous. Different diseases and illnesses. It cleans the body up. That's what it does. It's a pathogen killer. So if you're putting a whole bunch of food in there at the same time or mixing something in it, you lose that pathogen killing ability that's getting people better because okay. people have different bugs in them. They got bugs in their gut. They got all kinds of different things mm. happening. Bacteria, bad bacteria, and this is reversing people's conditions. So would you say it's pointless to have the celery juice if it has lemon in it or if you have a, a don't have an empty stomach? It's not pointless uh, without it. It's okay without the empty stomach you mm. can get by and you can still it'll still help some mm -hmm. but when you put things does it help some or does it not help some <laughs> what the frick in it it does almost become pointless yes mm -hmm. when you put things in it you can't put water you can't put ice cubes in it can't put lemon can't put lime you said this already bro we get it you can't put ice cubes or water or lemon or lime we get it why you're not he doesn't have an answer so he's just going to repeat the same information until the segment's over can't mix it with things and that's how we get in trouble. Okay, I'm so glad we sorted that out yeah. because I was really gonna start putting lemon in my celery <laughs> juice and now I'm, I'm happy to know that. Um, so many celebrities have joined this craze. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone, I yeah. heard, is now a big fan of the yeah. celery juice. Yeah, I he's juicing celery juice, absolutely. He's doing, he's juicing celery, yeah. If that works for him, I mean, come on, it's gonna work for everyone. Jenna Dewan, I've been seeing, yeah. she's been posting about. back <laughs> welcome to the live chat
Am I back? Oh. How come it doesn't show up on mine? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. Okay, I guess we have our answer. It's not Jay Shetty this time. It's the medical medium. Okay, let's see what else we can get away with. I can just, I think I'm allowed uh, to read from his book. Uh, so I can keep doing that till the cows come home. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me just get his Instagram up here. Yeah, you really know that you have a gift from above when you try to silence, you know, a live stream. That's when you really know that you're working in the celestial realm. Thanks, Mai. I appreciate that. Mai says, oh, Mai chose a hippo character with stars growing in his eyes, pumping his arms in the air with the word hype pulsating above him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You're not freaking fine. You're not freaking fine. This is what I have to say about medical medium. This is just stupid. This is what, this is what medical medium says about our stream. Somebody ought to smack you. This is what the spirit of compassion is telling medical medium right now. Nothing. This is how much the medical medium charges for his uh, diagnoses in the past. That's suspiciously like 500 bucks. Thank you. Thank you to my, I always appreciate it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see. Medical medium. What are you up to, buddy? What are you up to these days? Medical medium. You're a piece of shit. Let's just look at his Instagram for funsies. Here we go. While I find more hilarious things to read. 4 million Instagram followers. He's following nobody. No one is worth his time. Am I shocked by this? No. Because he has, like I said, no friends, no family. Allegedly. He does everything by himself. Let's, let's listen to some people who are his fervent supporters. Uh, this is what I think. A driving anxiety. Bro. These people are the ones who keep keep who keep this thing afloat and he's got a and it's weird too okay <laughs> all right I had to okay here's um here's one i saw yesterday and i was like interesting this is so this is reposted on the medical mediums um instagram but basically she's she's like people are healing themselves with medical medium information, but then they're creating their own grifting companies, deleting all of the medical medium, you know, proof or whatever. And they're saying it's a different thing that healed them. Now that's not okay with the medical medium. If you're going to get healed by him, you need to give him credit where credit is due because that makes sense. Uh, thanks. Nomi. Nomi has a character holding their head in their hands saying, you are my number one. Aw, that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am not a medical authority, but this beautiful Latina woman. <laughs> you have a wig in your panties. That's all for you, Nomi. Also. It's okay to cry. Okay. It is okay to cry. And also... You want to tell Tony to shove it up Tony's ass. Right, Nomi? <laughs> that wasn't nice. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah. So, so this is her explaining that don't steal medical medium's information that comes from a ghost spirit from God. You need to give him credit. To jump on and just quickly talk about this. It's been on my mind and it's something that really gets to me like it just it really breaks my heart and yeah so a lot of there's a lot of people out there that heal with medical medium info and i'm sure that a lot of you guys have seen it especially if you've been in the community in the medical medium community for a while or whatnot and you're looking at all that and you can see that people healed with medical medium and then they get to a point where Maybe they never shared properly that they healed with it, or maybe they just started all of a sudden just not sharing that it's medical medium that healed them and they're claiming it's something else that's helped them, or um, they're using MM info and not citing back, or they're merging MM info with other info and adding to all the confusion. And the 
Yeah, out there and really just missing out the details that matter and it matters like sharing the truth about what is really healing you and what information you've used to heal and you know saying that hey it was isn't it so funny it's like you guys really need to be honest here and tell people the truth it's like but okay but if you go to a doctor and they say yeah medical medium's a fraud it's like no no one knows the truth but me and my intuition is telling me this and that it's like you can't have it both ways. You can't have, oh, this is the true way and the only way, and then say, no, anything could be anything. This is just a random user, and he he shared it and then commented a bunch of hashtags, of course. Um, I really appreciate you sharing this. I can't tell you how much it means to me to know you understand and truly get the complexities of the situation. Thank you for taking the time to bring awareness to the issue. You are a beacon of light and true inspiration, sending much love and many blessings your way. Okay. Uh, I bet her, I haven't looked at her thing. Well, she's got a picture of it. I see right there. A lot of these people who are his fervent you know, followers, they put it in their bio. Yeah. Okay. Healing hundred plus. She had a hundred plus symptoms. Yikes. She had a hundred plus symptoms with the medical medium information and building muscle. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, this seems to be, this is why I think he's like, like a potential cult leader if he's not already a cult leader. And I don't say that lightly in the sense of like, Oh, it's like a cult classic. It's like, no, he, he demands by his very presence, loyalty, uh, strict a adherence to uh, his doctrine, his Bible. He claims to have a connection to the cosmos. That is exactly what cult leaders do. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and before we go on to more, let me just read this part. Okay. About the cars. <laughs> so funny. All right. So this is this is page 10. All right. Not that it matters, but in case you have your own book at home, that you're following me. Uh, I started spending a lot of time in the woods. I find nature soothing and especially appreciate the absence of other people. With the help of spirit, I learned to identify different species of birds during the day. <laughs> At night, he teaches me the names of stars, both what scientists call them and the names God has given them. Why spend the time? Why would the spirit know what scientists call the different stars? But okay. It's not fully an escape, though, because spirit also teaches me how to recognize herbs and foods growing around me. Mullion, yellow dock, plantain, dandelion, burdock root, wild rose hips and petals, wild apples, wild berries, and how to use them for healing. I also develop an interest in repairing cars. <laughs> I swear to God, this is what it says. I also develop an interest in repairing cars. I like fixing up mechanical objects because they don't require me to become emotionally involved. Even if I fail to repair a junker Chevy with a bad engine, I never feel remotely as awful as I do when I can't help people because they're in too advanced a stage of disease to be healed. Okay, that's the only reason why it's too advanced. So your celery is no longer relevant. Wouldn't it be, isn't it a miracle cure for everything? Okay, but this hobby doesn't go as planned either. People start noticing what I'm doing and coming over. Wow, that's amazing. Can you fix my car? I don't have it in me to say no, especially since spirit is doing the hardest part, which is figuring out what is wrong. One day when I'm 15, my mother and I, who will not be named. My mother and I stop at a station to get gasoline. I walk into the garage and find a bunch of mechanics staring at a car as if they're trying to solve a puzzle. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> the fact that so many people are going to die on this hill that this guy is a legitimate person, including Sylvester Stallone, Robert De Niro, and like a list of other people. This guy, this guy who's chap, this is 10 pages in and this is what this guy is saying. I've lost all faith. <laughs> this is too funny though. It's so funny. Okay. 
people start notice. Okay. One day when I'm 15, my mother and I stop at a station to get gasoline. I walk into the garage and find a bunch of mechanics staring at a car as if they're trying to solve a puzzle. What's going on? I ask. One of the men says, we've worked on this car for weeks. It should run perfectly, but we can't get it to start. Spirit immediately tells me the solution. Open up the wire harness in the back of the firewall. (laughs) I pass along to the mechanics. Quote, buried in dozens of other wires, you'll find a white one that's broken. Put that wire together and the car will run fine. That's ridiculous, says another of the men. What's the harm in checking? Asks the first one. So they go in and sure enough, there's a white wire broken in half. They look at me with their jaws hanging open. Are you the owner of this car? Asks the skeptical mechanic. Or are you a friend of his? No, I reply. I just have a knack for these things. (laughs) In a minute, they fix the wire and try the car again. It starts up perfectly. One of the mechanics starts dancing around. Another calls it a miracle. Word gets around and soon a bunch of garages in my town, which will not be named, and also several neighboring towns use me as the go-to guy for troubleshooting seemingly unfixable vehicles. When I show up to assist on a job, the mechanics who call me, much older guys with years of experience, are always incredulous. What's this 15-year-old doing here, they all ask. When I get the job done, though, they change their minds. So instead of escaping responsibility, I gain more. On top of healing people, I become a car doctor. (laughs) The last straw is when I realize how emotional people are about their cars. A lot of times, they're even more invested in their car's well-being than their own health. At that point, cars stop being fun for me. Uh, and then he says, I tried some other distracting activities. For example, I jo- for example, I join a rock band that will also not be named. Because loud music helps drown out Spirit's voice. Spirit does not appreciate this. He patiently waits until I'm finished making a racket, then resumes his commentary on the health of those around me. Nothing really works to make my gift go away. It becomes increasingly clear that I'm stuck with Spirit and my ability and can't escape the path that's been laid out for me. So don't blame him (laughs) for this, okay? It is a gift and mostly a curse that is very profitable. Okay, um, so, so here, so this is the, this is her, so let me go, most of his posts are either this graphic that he creates where he just claims things about products, you know, pomegranate does this, and this does this, and eat one of a day for this benefit, and you know, most of it's like, oh, if you're going to eat a pomegranate, unless you're allergic to it, you're probably going to be fine. I mean, he also does stuff like this where it's like very mommy blogger 2015, like, you know, nicely shot pieces of content where he explains like how to make gingerbread cookies. He also has an Amazon live show where he sells all the products that he talks about. So, you know, he can he can help people by making affiliate income. But a lot of them are, um, you know, personal testimonials. Okay, so of course she's getting brain scans too. I'm sure she's going to Dr. Amen as well. Uh, And he reposts them. So I, again, have not checked this one or any of these. Uh, I would imagine most of his followers, a lot of his followers, again, have his name in their bio. Let's see. Healing with medical medium information. So this is their entire personality. I don't understand, right? Like, I mean, I, I, is it fake? Are they being paid? What's going on? I, I'm not sure. Do they just love it so much? Let's see. This one. Okay. Again, they didn't listen to it. just tried the medical medium craving shifter, and I wanted to share with the community, the medical medium community, my inc- incredible experience. <sighs> this is so sad. Whew. So, food addiction and emotional eating is, is no fucking joke. And I have like struggled with it for the longest time. And since about 2017, when I started the medical medium protocol and started 
more or less dabbling in it. I wasn't as strong and consistent, hello, <laughs> as I am now. But, um, okay, that's let's see. Oh, medical medium fan. Okay, so sh normally it says healing through medical medium. So she doesn't have that. It just says medical medium fan. So it is in her bio, though. Let's pick another one. I don't want to use the kids. There's a lot of ones who say, my child's illnesses are healed now. There's lots of kids' ones. Let's see this lady. Oh, okay. No bio. Never mind. Okay, let's see one more. So two out of three. Here's a dude. Medical medium protocols. I don't know who's telling them to do this or one person saw the other person doing it and they're like, yeah, this is what we all should be doing at all times. Showing, you know, who is healing us. Let's see this person. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I just wanted to pop on and say that doing medical medium has made me feel so aligned. And I never thought that I would ever feel this way, especially being so hooked on pharmaceuticals, being antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication, uh, being so addicted to fast food and all the horrible things, all the trash that I was putting in my body, drinking my celery juice, doing the heavy metal detox smoothie, doing the liver rescue smoothie, eating the right way, the way to heal my body instead of taking medications and stuffing everything down with horrible foods. I just feel the best that I felt in a very long time. And I just want to say... Doesn't it sound like someone, again, is forcing this person to read a script or to be, like, say this? It just, to me, like, the other woman who's crying seemed, you know, like, she believes it, honestly. This one, to me, sounds like, who's paying you to say this? Because this doesn't sound authentic to me. And also, the message of, uh, you know, oh, I don't need to take, an you know, antidepressants anymore because I have celery juice is problematic in its own right. And I, I pulled out one of his videos about depression, <laughs> Because, uh, you know, why wouldn't I? Um, where he talks about, like, what spirit says the real cause of uh, depression and anxiety is. Because why would it be the world at large? Um, it, it definitely is not that. It is definitely something that you can... Oh, here's the other, here's the other one from Sylvester. Here you go. Yo, I have some good news to pass on. I have come across something that I think is a real life changer. It's a book by Anthony William. He's the medical medium. Let me just put it this way. Getting muscles, you can do that. No problem. It's just work, diligence, perseverance. But if you don't take care of the engine, this little part in here that you never pay attention to, you go, oh, it's in the dark, I don't look at it. Well, it's not in the dark. This is what runs the system. It keeps it all going. I'm not getting anything out of this. I just wanna pass on something I wish I had come across when I was younger. I mean, yeah, I'm still strong. I feel fit, I feel aggressive, but you could feel better. I feel aggressive. And as you get older, you get better. Keep punching. Again, what the fuck? Like what? Oh God. Okay, this is from the Hallmark Channel. This is already been. I'm already demonetized. I got cut off twice. So let's just go full force, okay, everybody? Let's just say fuck it to the patriarchy. No, not patriarchy. Advertising overlords, suck it. I can survive without twelve dollars. Here we go. We are back with uh, medical medium Anthony William, and he is here with Sally Arnold. She's a registered nurse mm -hmm. who had ailments. Yes. Who was a skeptic. Very much so. But was running out of sure. places to turn Absolutely. and answers. Yes. So you turn to Anthony uh, and you call. Why are you promoting scams on national TV? Why, 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 why? Why are we doing this? You reached out? Yes and in a phone call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So take it from there. Okay. So you needed some answers. 
And I think I want to go back to I was skeptical. Mm -hmm. You know, this is pretty out there for me. And coming from a clinical background as a nurse, uh, you know, that was a big jump. But yeah. there was something that just kept tugging on my heartstrings. And so I thought, well, what do I have to lose? How desperate were you? Oh, pretty desperate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what were you looking for? So let's exploit that further. Or <laughs> exactly. I was looking to feel good. Oh. I didn't feel like me. What? Oh, another vague explanation. What changed? I didn't feel good. I didn't feel like me. Okay, so then you drink celery and listen to this dude, and now you feel more like you? That doesn't make sense to me. Why? Right. What were you on medication? I was on medication. I had a hysterectomy when I was 29. Mm -hmm. I had thyroid issues. I had just some chronic autoimmune stuff, and it always felt like it was 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, I had joint swelling, inflammation, um, hair loss, just classic symptoms, I think, but the medical field couldn't answer my questions. So you make the phone call. Yes. So instead of acknowledging that sometimes there aren't answers in life and trying to live a healthy life moving forward, healthiest I can, I contacted a charlatan who now is being promoted on national television to more people to be manipulated and taken advantage of. Okay, thank you, Hallmark Channel. And then when you received the phone call, what did you tell her? <laughs> well, you know, it, I saw a bunch of different things going on. I saw her thyroid problem. I saw what was happening inside. He saw her thyroid problem through the phone. Okay, just to clarify once again, he did his... Woo! I'm 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 reading your your scans right now. This is even better than Dr. Ammon. Dr. Ammon puts you in a uh, a machine that at least gives you a rainbow picture of your brain. This guy just does it through his hands. It's amazing. Oh, where'd you go? Where did that go? Oh, I missed it. What did that say? Someone tell me. It didn't come through yet on my on my end. Am I uh, am I kicked off again? Damn it. <laughs> or am I live? Tell me, somebody, please. This guy just does it. Yeah, I don't know who, whose was that. I'm so sorry. Okay, here you go. Spider thyroid. Because Spirit told me. Spirit said, take a look. This is what's happening in her thyroid. This is what she needs to do. This is the right kind of food. You know, because a lot of people... Oh, Bridget O'Connor Edwards. I see it now. Thank you, Bridget O'Connor Edwards. Thank you. Just say no to celery stock stock. <laughs> yes. What excites me most is see a person die. Hey. I am all about getting a free ride. Thanks, Bridget. They truly have it all. Medical medium truly has it all. No, I'm not kicked off again. No, I refuse. Okay. We're confused Sorry. about food as medicine. You know, there's a lot of different information out there. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of it. And Spirit knew what food to use, what specific things she needed to make sure that the thyroid would recover, to make sure that she'd start feeling good because she could barely function from what I remember. Mm -hmm. Did you, was this a bunch of gibberish to you? Was he rattling off <laughs> things that no, made no sense? No, you? you know how crazy this was? I wrote a list of my questions. And I was a little skeptical, so I just, I had some time, I had a prayer, I just like, okay, let's try this. And it was remarkable because it was if Anthony was reading my list one by one, and he went through every question I had. Everything, was there something there that you didn't, you, you didn't know about that he found? No, but he, what thing that wasn't on my list at the very end, he said, you know, things are looking good, we're going to do this and this and this. And, you know, aside from the small calcification in your left breast, we're good. You know, that's going to be fine. I've known about that for 15 years. The hospital would like to take it off. And it's like, it's fine. I'm really just mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. But we had never met. He's on the other line. I never believe anyone when they say this shit, honestly. Like, oh, yeah, like, he didn't know anything. It's like, well, did you send him any information in advance? Well, I did send him a 15-page questionnaire that said I have these ailments and issues, but, you know, they don't mention that in it. No, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but I don't take people's uh, 
word because it always turns out later like, well, yes, like with Dr. Amen, Dr. Amen will say like when he does these brain scans and it's like literal rainbow, you know, colors, it's like, how could he possibly determine or decipher anything from this chart? And then it turns out, well, the people who fill out the forms, the intake forms, fill out like 45 pages of medical information that obviously gives him much more of a guess when he's reading the scans to determine like, oh, you probably have, you know, this problem or that problem because you told me (laughs) in your intake form, but I'm going to attribute it to the scan being very highly successful. Uh, I see my, thank you, my, I don't know if it's popped up yet, but my says this set, there is a basket of eggs behind her. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, this is called the Farmhouse Chic set of Hallmark Channel. This is the uh, home and family where you put your hard-boiled eggs behind your couch. That is that was the style back in what, 2017? When was this when did this come out? 6 years ago in 2016. Get you and then they have the bowl of lettuce behind her basically too. Uh, let's take a let's take a moment here. Why do you follow me if you don't already own my book? Why do you take medical advice if you don't read my book about me fixing cars? (laughs) Okay, here we go. And for me, that was (laughs) that confirmation of he he knew something that nobody knew but my husband and Mm -hmm. my family. Right. And that was like, okay. There's something pretty special here. So you started to go to work on what? His punch list of things for you? Yes, I did. And starting with what? Um, You know, adding fruits and vegetables, copious fruits and vegetables to my diet. He recommended, um, he said I had Epstein-Barr virus. So taking some... um, Shocking! That's what he tells everybody. Wow! And the cure is celery and vegetables. Wow! Literally, if you want medical advice and you want me to, like, you want to pay me, I will tell you, hey, why don't you drink more water, exercise more than you are, uh, and eat more vegetables and fruits. It's just as helpful as this fucking idiot. Excuse my French. Uh, Thank you, Janeth Rowe. Janeth says, here's 18 stinking dollars. Not really, but screw the advertising overlords. Hell yeah. Thank you, Janeth. I appreciate that. 18 stinking dollars. How much? It is 18 American dollars. dollars. Here's, an, here's a bonus one for you, Janet. Thank you. Oh, I love that sound. That's, that's the sound of, of af- what it sounds like when you drink celery juice every day. <laughs> <laughs> some lysine, some recommendations that he mm-hmm. had. I started taking those. And... I, you know, coming down for the show, I realized I forgot how bad I used to feel. Like, it becomes normal to feel wonderful again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And, and the change was... How long before you were really feeling the change and the effects? I think hope is big medicine. So when I hung up the phone, I felt better. Right away. And my hope. physical body... <sighs> then why don't you call your niece or call a priest or call a nun, or call, you know, a Buddhist meditator in town and say, hey, can you just tell me things are going to be okay? Because what the hell if hope is their best medicine? Yeah. Okay. So what's the point of having a protocol and having this guy predict the things that are, you know, truly wrong with you? Lord. Followed. Yeah. It was pretty rapid. Is that pretty common for you, Anthony? You know, yeah, spirit offers a lot of light, too. So there's light involved automatically. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm helping someone out, that light we can feel around There's light and knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. How do you get better if you don't know what's wrong, too? That's another thing. Knowing what's wrong and knowing the cause is half the battle. Right. So are you on May... I, I guess it's just like, I, I guess it, this is like placebo.com. Like, hey, do you want a placebo that I've written an entire backstory about? I'll give that to you for $200 through the phone. And I'll make it really realistic so that, you know, you'll believe it. Maybe that's what it is. And maybe that's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. But to me, it does feel like it's 
it's just fraud to me. That's what it feels like to me. But at the same time, it's like, if you are so desperate because you have these ailments and illnesses, again, no. God damn it. Ugh. Do you like my song? <laughs> lordy, lordy, look who's on high alert today. Well, like I said, the only thing is I hate the suspension time. Uh, so we'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to skip it. We'll just, isn't this crazy? Though? And I see the, the thing about Twitch and maybe that's a good idea. Like maybe Twitch is not as crazy as YouTube by blocking. Like I, I don't hear as many issues on Twitch. The thing is, it's like, isn't it crazy how his videos, which are telling people that he's curing them over the phone with celery and supplements and, you know, everyone's got this disease. Every, I, I hear it in my head. You know, they're telling me this and that. That's totally cool. Yeah. Live it up, baby. Like put, promote that, get that up there. Let's put it on the news. But if you're trying to poke holes in this and say, let's all critically think here, let's all think about this and see if this is, let's hear from the source themselves and decide as a group, whether we believe in this or not. No violation. <laughs> not okay. Critical thinking is no longer allowed. I have to just, I guess like the thing, but the solution is Okay, how do I make these streams better so that I don't use copyrighted videos? It's like, am I, but the th like, how does, how, I wish YouTube or whoever would just say how they would like that to be done. How can the news do it where they're showing like, okay, this press conference, this is what the video said, here it is, this is our comments about it, this is what people in the community think about it, here's a clip showing this information as a fact or whatever. Like, well, how am I supposed to do this? Am I just supposed to say like, trust me too? Like I would like to show people and myself and display it. So you're not taking my word for things. You can watch the video too. I can give my comments and we can move on with our lives. I don't understand how, how me regurgitating information without showing it to you is better. Like fair use is a thing that I thought was proven in court many times now where it's like, if you're transforming the material for a reaction, for education, for some, there's like a list of reasons and you are completely transforming it where you're, I'm not just taking it and posting it in full and saying, this is my content and I own it. If I'm making it clear and I have a purpose for satirical reasons, for, like I said, for reaction reasons, for critique, it's supposed to be okay. Now that's obviously legal and YouTube and AdSense is different. So if I go outside and just show people videos and stuff, you know, outside of my home, no one's going to arrest me. 
but it's just frustrating because it's like this is why this con- like I'm sure there's other people like me out there that want to do this type of work that have started and stopped because of the frustration behind it or have will never start because they see my frustration that I go through trying to do this stuff it's easier just to make another course about mindset and having a positive mindset or making another video about you know how to grow on Instagram like people and interact and join a community of other people trying to grow their Instagram like that is the content that's going to be continually made forever and ever and ever because it's like if you try to be critical about anything like people just take you to court they cease and desist you or they cut off they suspend your stream temporarily so that people leave i mean i get it i'm not saying you're forced to you know stay here and watch it it's very inconvenient for everyone involved it's not a good show it's not entertaining at this point but it's frustrating and i want to keep doing it i'm not going to stop doing it but at the same time you know, this is another part of the problem, another piece of the jigsaw puzzle that is part of the problem. It's like, why do people, why are they so influenced this way? It's because when they look at their world, what do they see? Medical medium people saying, this works, this is real. Hallmark Channel, this works, this is real. I get on here, suspended. That shows that I am uncredible and untrustworthy. That literally YouTube had to suspend me temporarily for saying whatever I'm saying. That would make people think like, okay, what is she doing? She's not credible. And I don't blame them, honestly. Anyways, um, thank you. Okay, let me look up all the stuff that was done while we were off. Thank you for my rant. Uh, Thank you to Potato Candy for the super chat. Also, Stephanie Fowler, who says, keep up the good fight against Big Celery Kia. Thank you. (laughs) I never thought that Big Celery would be my downfall, but here we are. I thought Dave Ramsey was uh, pretty bad, but, you know, I guess Medical Medium takes the the celery slice. This is for you, Potato Candy. Peed my pants. This is for you, Stephanie Fowler. Oops my pubic hair (laughs) okay wait let me pick another one wait what yeah thank you uh uh, janice rowe okay i got that one already okay was there any other ones that i missed if if so i don't shave my chochi that one's for everybody (laughs) oh lord have mercy okay so i'm trying to kind of like figure out where to go now maybe we can watch a scam video Um, which is more people that have already done research and uh, that I watched in and trying to put this stream together. And I plan to do a more insightful video in addition to this one. Um, But let's see. Because I think that helps. I think when it's the live streams, it's a little bit more rough just because, you know, the suspension can be, you know, just done willy nilly. Uh, The longer videos, you can kind of edit better. So maybe that's the key with these more sensitive subjects. And I can go to Twitch, perhaps. Maybe Twitch is the future for me. I'm not sure. I'm really trying to figure out my channel and decide what to do moving forward. I really like lives. I feel like that's where I feel the best like delivering and stuff and talking and I just like the interaction but I don't want to have it be like an uncomfortable scenario for everybody where everyone's just like waiting around for the stuff to come back and then I'm frazzled trying to get you know the next part of the segment done and we'll figure it out don't worry I'll do something I'll do something for you Alaska Blue Tundra thank you uh, Alaska Bull Tundra picked a lemon character holding his hands with gratitude on his face. Well, thank you so much. This is for you. It actually was the most mature thing I have ever done. I'm trying to same. <laughs> and thank you, Emily. Welcome to the Chew Sadness Gang. Okay. Anyways, we'll figure that out. I'm I'm you know done bitching for now. For now, um, let's watch a a takedown video and I will put it in the, um, actually I lied. Let's go, let's go into the serious stuff since we're already, uh, getting screwed here. Um, so this, there's a goop connection. I sort of mentioned this in the beginning. Um, and Gwyneth Paltrow has, you know, Anthony as one of the contributors. Thanks bun mom. Welcome. Um, and, uh, and um, basically he goes on there and 
you know, shares his opinion from where, you know, what he believes you should be doing with your life. And Gwyneth is loving it. She thinks it's wonderful. Um, but here is one, the one story about the family whose child died and how he's involved in this. Now, I've also heard stories from some viewers when I talked about doing this video, this live stream, um, and they said that they also knew people who have passed because they were trying to follow these protocols and didn't seek medical treatment. So, and you know, obviously I don't know the details of these stories, but I am I would imagine that there's probably, possibly more people out there that took an alternative route when facing serious illnesses like medical medium or like these other influencers who talk about health things and uh i you know i wouldn't be surprised if someone didn't make it um by drinking celery juice and not getting uh you know westernized medical attention anyways okay this is called how goop's favorite medical medium uses spirituality to scam the sick okay in the spring of 2013 kate gallagher long called anthony william she was desperate for help. 48 days later, her son Gavin was dead. Prior to what would be their first and last phone call, Leong had opened up on her parenting blog about Gavin and his seemingly incurable illness. Gavin suffered from hearing and respiratory issues, in addition to other mysterious symptoms. Despite taking him to specialists, Leong's search for a diagnosis turned up fruitless. When she got an email from a blog reader suggesting she reach out to a man named Anthony William, she didn't hesitate. When you're a mom of a special needs child, especially with a mystery like with a mystery like Gavin was, I would have done anything. Okay, again, got the same line that goes through all of these cases, which seems to be desperation. A cursory search on YouTube gives us our only glimpse into William in his element in a place where he can address the internet at large. With his brunette ponytail and small frame glasses, it's clear that he's not a face from Hollywood. <laughs> Burned him. Burn. Or a persona painstakingly crafted in a PR meeting. I mean, I agree with that. His delivery is raw yet relatable. Hold on. Relatable. I want to be relatable. With a voice that vibrates like that of a mega church pastor, but only a bit, just enough. William, who markets himself as the medical medium, has written three books about natural healing and garnered a celebrity clientele. Robert De Niro, James Van Der Beek of Dawson's Creek fame, Naomi Campbell, and Goop founder Gwyneth Paltrow all offer glowing testimonials of William's God-given skills, despite the fact he doesn't seem to have a public record of a medical degree. I mean, he's admitted to that. Instead, he maintains that his expertise was granted to him by a spirit when he was only four years old and that his connection with the entity allows him to cure others of various illnesses from irritable, irritable bowel to thyroid cancer. Anthony's unprecedented accuracy and success rate as the medical medium have earned him the trust and love of thousands worldwide, among them movie stars, rock stars, billionaires, professional athletes, best-selling authors and countless other people from all walks of life who couldn't find a way to heal until he provided them with insights from spirit he boasts on his website. But when William spoke to Long for an hour, $300 phone consultation, okay, so it's even more than I remember, $300, William didn't heal her son at all. He didn't diagnose Gavin as he claimed he could, which is why what which is what Leon was expecting. And instead, to Long, she had passed on the Epstein-Barr virus to her son in utero. Okay, once again, that is his answer for everything. That's what Spirit always says. It's always Epstein-Barr virus. Reading off a list she wrote based on their phone call in 2013, Long tells Inverse, William suggested a benign vitamin regimen, including liquid B12 and zinc for Gavin, and a kind of charcoal detoxifier for Long, a prescription of sorts for the mother given without explanation. So the child needs to get B12 and zinc and a charcoal detoxifier for her. Okay. When Gavin died from a febrile seizure 
48 days after her consultation with William, Long felt responsible for her son's death. After all, William told her she had passed along EBV to her son, Gavin, which was supposedly the source of all his illness. According to Long, he died undiagnosed. Doctors didn't know what happened. Quote, all I could think was, oh my God, I did this to him. She says, this was me. What a fucking piece of shit. Right? (laughs) Fuck you. Celery man. Though he published his first book, Medical Medium, back in 2015, William claims to have used his gift throughout most of his life, healing family, friends, and more. He's not the first person to claim a connection to the divine. The annals of history are full of people who've called themselves psychic healers, perhaps most notably Edgar Case, aka the father of holistic medicine. I gotta look into him more. I put him on the list. But unlike Case and others, William's William markets himself with a modern exclusive flair. In addition to allegedly charging $500 for a half hour telephone reading, several sources confirm the dollar amount with inverse, along with customer reviewers on Amazon. So $500 for a half hour telephone reading, it's a pretty freaking good deal for him. $1,000 an hour? Can't get that without a, you know, a, a... Pyramid scheme, usually. He's a trusted expert for Goop, where he's dispensed some seriously dubious advice over the course of several blog posts. We can't confirm how much William is currently charging for consultations like the one he gave Long because the information isn't available on his website. In a recent Goop article about thyroid cancer, which is, of course, where you should get your information about thyroid cancer, is on Goop. (sighs) Lord. Okay, uh... (laughs) William claims that real malignant cancer is a modern phenomenon that started after the Industrial Revolution and that is extremely common Epstein-Barr virus is the source of almost all cancers. Though his historical assertion is patently untrue, ancient Egyptians described cancer on papyri dating back thousands of years, William's medical advice is even more unnervingly false. Quote, 98% of the time, cancer is caused by a virus and at least one type of toxin, William writes in that column, not elaborating on what qualifies as a toxin. Quote, there are many viruses that can be involved with cancer. The Epstein-Barr virus is one of them. EBV is also responsible for breast cancer, liver cancer, almost all lung cancer, almost all. Not my grandma's, but everyone else's. Okay. Pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, women's reproductive cancers, leukemia, and many more. Also, just something to note, I think based on his book and what things he points out, which is menopause, Lyme disease, certain hormonal conditions, he he is um, targeting women. Not to say men don't follow him too, but I really think he's targeting women with chronic illnesses. Uh, that is his target audience, just based on how he speaks and um, the types of ailments he tends to choose. I just have a feeling that that's his. That's what he's going for. Now that's my own thoughts, but. Uh, Okay, so that's a quote from him. Since its founding in 2008, Goop has garnered an enormous amount of attention and $25 million in funding for promoting some seriously problematic health advice, much of which has been rebuked by the medical community. Over the last few years alone, it's promoted vaginal steaming, vaginal jade eggs, and $120 biofrequency healing stickers. Let's look at that for a second. (laughs) <laughs> NASA, the article is NASA calls bullshit on Goop's $120 biofrequency healing stickers. I guess they don't have a picture of them. Uh, where did it go? Okay. Which the company erroneously claimed were made from NASA spacesuit material. Uh, okay. A screenshot from Goop's website, which refers to William as a trusted Goop expert. So although it's not off-brand for Goop to repeatedly host the medical medium on their website, it's unnerving considering the brand's growing influence. Despite as many critics, Goop has had tri- sorry, Goop had a terrific autumn traffic-wise, skyrocketing from 1.4 million visitors in September 2017 to more than 2 million in December, according to analytics site Similar Web. In September, the lifestyle company launched its quarterly magazine in partnership with Condé Nast, which also publishes Vogue, The New Yorker, and GQ. 
There's no shortage of coverage around some of Goop's controversial suggestions like the body stickers or yoni eggs, but Williams seems to have been overlooked. There's almost no media skepticism surrounding his work, even though he flatly denies on Goop that genetics have anything to do with disease, which in this case is cancer. Oh, which in this case is cancer. Quote, while of course facial features and vocal cords are genetic, disease isn't, he declares with no evidence. Dr. Jennifer Guntner, Gunter, a San Francisco-based OBGYN who's criticized Goop in the past, tells Inverse that promoting William on the site is unethical for multiple reasons. Apart from the wasted money on a book, I think that his advice could lead people to believe that they don't need to think about genetics for their thyroid cancer, Gunter says. This just makes doctors' jobs harder. Yeah, I agree. Of Goop as an enterprise, Gunter offered this statement to Inverse. Promoting the medical medium is no different than promoting anti-vaccine views or cleanses or coffee enemas. The minimum is that people waste money, but there is great potential for harm with many of the therapies that are recommended and delays in diagnoses. Every day, someone tweets to me or messages me on Facebook about a friend or family member who delayed real therapy that could help them to give snake oil a go. How anyone can publish that drivel and think I have done a good thing today is beyond me. I agree. While EBV is incredibly common, according to the Centers for Disease Control, there's essentially no peer-reviewed evidence to confidently state it causes cancer, as William does. According to the American Cancer Society, at most, it could be linked to Hodgkin's lymphoma and in some cases of stomach cancer. This is ambiguous territory, even for oncologists, never mind medical mediums, since EBV spreads primarily via saliva, not in utero. EBV-related cancers are more common in Africa and parts of Southeast Asia, the ACS writes on its website. Overall, very few people who have been infected with EBV will ever develop these cancers. It seems even Goop is aware of the potential backlash associated with William, who seems to tell the majority of his fans that they're ill because they have some form of the EBV. Each of William's articles on Goop <clears throat> includes a footnote with an extensive disclaimer about the site's intentions to merely induce conversation, thereby attempting to wash its hands of any actions taken by people who follow the advice as William instructs. So it says, these are the, they are the views of the author and do not necessarily represent the views of Goop and are for informational purposes only, even if and to the extent that this article features the advice of physicians and medical practitioners, the, this article is not, nor is it intended to be, a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment it should never be relied upon for specific medical advice. But that doesn't stop Goop from having William back on its site again and again, dishing out even more unsubstantiated advice. Over the last few months, Goop has not responded to Inverse's repeated requests for comment on William, instead offering us information readily available on its website. Okay, we can skip over that part. Okay. Apples teach us not to get burned by the frost of insensitivity from others. Anthony William on Goop. Okay. Much like the spirit with which he claims to communicate, William appears to be a ghost. At least according to Google, publicly available documents obtained by Inverse show William's business registered in Naples, Florida, and that he's 47 years old. Okay. According to online white page directories. That's the first time I've seen that. 47 years old. For someone so ostensibly renowned and well-connected, 3 million fans on Facebook, there's almost no information about him online, not even a Wikipedia page. There's no shortage of Amazon links to his books, however, and those are overwhelmingly full of glowing reviews. Uh, let's go over that. <clears throat> While it's clear that many people feel helped by William, what's surprising and on some level troubling is that his social media pages have zero questions of him or his books, despite these astounding superlative claims he's made about his own book. Now, I'm sure they delete. I bet they delete comments, honestly, that say like, what is this crap? And they go, delete. No problems. That's gone now. Um... This book is unlike anything you've read. You won't find citation after citation, references to study after study, because this is fresh, ahead of its time information that comes from the heavens. And this, this book unveils many of Spirit's most precious medical secrets. It's the answer for anyone who's suffering from a chronic condition or a mystery illness that doctors haven't been able to resolve. <sighs> 
Okay. And most unnervingly this, the secrets this book contains will eventually be recognized by the scientific community. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, brand management is a common strategy to protect a public figure's image, but William seems to tightly police his image, even by 2017 standards. He's disabled comments on all of his YouTube videos and appears to personally manage his Facebook page, which is exclusively filled with effusive comments. The only place that holds any kind of criticism or information about William's practice is in the Amazon comments section, specifically the one-star reviews. Here's the quote. I paid $500 to have a reading with Anthony, one Amazon customer posted on September 12, 2016. I felt completely scammed and naive for thinking someone would be able to properly diagnose me in 30 minutes over the phone. I was told he was he would be able to tell you what you have right away. And for the first half of the session, he kept asking me questions about all my symptoms. He tells everyone they have EBV, including myself. According to Long and several Amazon reviewers, William's Carefully curated social media presence is no accident. Yeah, no shit. There might be something more insidious behind all those five-star reviews on the e-commerce site. Okay, here's one possible explanation that I thought was interesting um, about the uh, reviews. Because I also wonder that too. Like, how does he have so many good reviews? Here's their possible uh, answer, at least back in the day. Quote, I started doing some researching and I found out that when one of Anthony's books came out, there was a lottery by the publisher. And guess who the publisher is? Hay House. Do you remember who Hay, uh, Hay House was started by? Louise Hay, the person who said, uh, all of your ailments, HIV is caused because gay people are too vain and they only care about looks. That's why you know they've gotten HIV and AIDS. That makes them ugly. Um, she also says that if you stub your toe, it's because, you know, you're angry at somebody. Uh, if you have cancer, <clears throat> she cured her own cancer by, you know, believing in positive vibes. You know, <laughs> another problematic woman, to say the least. That's the publishing house that she started, which is now the publisher of his book. So makes sense. Uh, okay. So there was a lottery allegedly, uh, by Hay House, that whoever wrote the most inspiring Amazon review would win a reading or something with him. The book in question appears to be William's aptly titled Medical Medium, published in 2015. That's one I have. Inverse obtained what appears to be a copy of that call out originally on William's website, later pasted to Phoenix Rising, a forum for people suffering from myalgic encephalomyelitis and chronic fatigue syndrome. And the Page says, enter for a chance to win the grand prize of grand prize $3,000 package. Also, we're going to review each and every Amazon review that's submitted and the most inspirational review will win a $3,000 grand prize package with me. It includes two phone consultations with me. Skip the line, book right away, four VIP tickets to the Medical Medium live event in February, six autographed copies of Medical Medium for you and your family. So leave your Amazon review today and enter for a chance to win. Enter before November 20th to qualify. Click below and it goes to the medicalmedium.com slash Amazon. Thank you for your continued support. Support. P.S. If you didn't purchase your Amazon, that's okay. You can still leave a review. If you've already left your review, skip to step two. In November, Inverse reached out to Hay House, Williams Publisher, which also publishes books written by other mediums and self-proclaimed healers. When we asked, when we asked about Williams' contest that he and Hay House seemed to have created in order to garner positive reviews of his 2015 book, we received the following ambiguous response via email, which just basically says thanks for for following up, and here's some links to all his stuff. About two years after Williams published Medical Medium, he came out with his third book, Thyroid Healing. As of January 2018, it's already an Amazon bestseller with 730 reviews on the site. 95% of them are five-star reviews. It's unclear what role Amazon plays in all of this or how much it can actually tell about who is being incentivized to write glowing reviews. While it's common for publishers to give out free copies of books to fans to review, it appears that the monetary incentives allegedly used by Will, William, and Hay House fall into a different category. When Inverse asked Amazon about the accusations of positive book reviews for compensation, a spokesperson confirmed the e-commerce site would be investigating the claims. And they say, okay, we do our guidelines, blah, blah, blah. They reached out to Hay House and they didn't get tracked. It didn't go any 
further. Okay. Though William postures himself as a healer, a protector of the average person duped by doctors and big pharma, his practices suggest something darker. Debbie Brazil, owner of a rehab facility for geriatric patients in Lake County, Florida, tells Inverse that seven or eight months ago, her 72-year-old mother, Lorraine, contacted William. Since then, he's put her on a strict diet that Brazil says has caused her mother, who is five foot 11, to drop from 100 and 20 pounds to 93 pounds quote she wasn't sick before she called him claims brazil who originally told her story on an anti-medical medium facebook page but after their phone call she decided she has fibromyalgia he also told her she has the epstein-barr virus once again shocking uh, doctors confirm that Lorraine does not have fibromyalgia, Brazil adds. Brazil says her mother paid $500 for a half an hour phone call and even more for William's books. She also says her mother has a refrigerator full of supplements. She adds that she doesn't know how much her mother has been spending on follow-up calls. He's milking her out of lots of money, she says. I'm sure he's making all his money from folks like my mother who are on limited income who can't afford to pay him all of this. She's spending money that she really needs to live. Despite dropping dramatically in rate, Brazil says her mother is now skeptical about traditional medicine. Okay, wait. Despite dropping dramatically in rate and weight, Brazil says her mother is now skeptical about traditional medicine. Brazil says that her mother won't eat dairy, carbs, or any kinds of sugar because William supposedly told her it'll make her sick, sick with an illness she never had. He has completely, he has her completely brainwashed. And then there's a... Yeah, then she posted the daughter. We need to get the word out to more people. He's endangering lives. <clears throat> Inverse has emailed and called William multiple times over the last few months, asking for comment on so many of the claims brought against him. As of this writing, he has not responded. Well, he has no reason to because, you know, people believe nonsense. So why would he even defend himself? It's like the, the people who are already skeptical are never going to, you know, be swayed. If you're already, if you're not skeptical, you can be sold. If you're already skeptical, there's no way you can be convinced that a spirit is talking into your ear and telling you you have Epstein-Barr virus. <clears throat> As of this writing, he has not responded. The Better Business, the Better Business Bureau of West Florida tells Inverse there's no record of complaints against William Anthony William Inc., but that it would be conducting an investigation. Uh, perhaps William carefully curates the criticism around him because on some level, he doesn't even believe his own gimmick. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he truly believes it because why would you hide your past so deeply and any information about you? I just find it to be a tactic. His website features a lengthy disclaimer clearing him of any legal responsibility for his advice. Anthony William, uh, doing business as Anthony William Medical Medium, is not a licensed medical doctor, chiropractor, osteopathic physician, naturopathic doctor, nutritionist, pharmacist, psychologist, psychologist, psychotherapist, or other formerly licensed healthcare professional. Practitioner or provider of any kind, Anthony William Medical Medium does not render medical, psychological, or other professional advice or treatment, nor does it provide or prescribe any medical diagnosis, treatment, medication, or remedy. So what does he render exactly? None of it really makes sense, Long says. It's all just a big smoke screen. Yeah, there you go. And this page, at least, is no longer there chasing rainbows oh this is the the woman with her son <sighs> anyways <clears throat> that was depressing <laughs> uh, you know it's just sad because at, 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 like I said you know it is a personal decision because the government's not going to do anything apparently they don't they're not going to step in they want uh you know you to have free choice we live in a system where healthcare is not a human right. It's a privilege that we earn through working or being married to someone who is working. And I think that's wrong. I, I think people, humans should be able to, humans, look at me. Humans. Uh, should be able to live and not be penalized for contracting illnesses. Um, I think it's ridiculous that, you know, as a modern society, we aren't there yet. And I think because of that, people, and I've said this before, like going to the doctor sounds like a great idea. And I think that is the solution and saying, consult with a physician before you start any diet or exercise, of course. But when you don't have health insurance, like I don't, um, 
going to a doctor is a scary adventure (laughs) to say it in a nice way. And if you go to one and you, you know, cough up the money to be able to afford it, uh, going to another one to get a second opinion or going to a specialist is very, very, very expensive. And you don't have, if you, especially, and this is not my case, but when I was younger, you know, working a nine to five job or even an overnight job or jobs with, you know, hours where you can't just leave, um, you know, taking the time off from work to go get medical advice is not easy either. And and it's expensive. So it's much easier to go, you know what? I'm going to figure out the solution by myself. I'm going to spend $500 with this guy who's going to promise me that he knows what's wrong with me and heal me compared to a doctor that's going to have to send away for tests that cost money. That's going to have to refer me to someone else. And at the end of it may not have a concrete answer. So I understand where people are coming from. And it's, it's really a shame that this is a person who can thrive in this environment. Someone who doesn't probably have a whole lot going on besides making money. It looks like at least like he doesn't have, you know, a bustling social life or, you know, close family members. And maybe he does and they're secretive, um, you know, and the other side of it is like, well, he's providing answers and, and hope and hope, like that woman said in the, the interview, hope is a drug. Hope is a cure. And, you know, part of me goes, that's really sad and something that you shouldn't do. But at the same time, it's like, who am I to say that to somebody? Um, you know, if you want to spend money on going to a psychic or going to a medium, I think it's complete garbage and bullshit and not real, personally. But... I'm not you, you know? So it's your own personal choice to do whatever you want. Um, I just, I find it hard to be around people who believe in that type of stuff because it's sad to watch, in my opinion, like to see someone give their hard-earned money away to someone who is a known liar. Like she just is obviously lying. And then my third pissed off section is at the media. All of the people, podcasters, Goop, Extra TV, Hallmark, all those, you know, companies of people where hundreds of people work, you know, throughout all of those organizations, um, someone not saying we, we should not have this person on. They are not qualified in any way to give medical advice at all no matter how many, you know, disclaimers that we put on our website to say like, eh, legally we're not held responsible, but we want people to have, you know, freedom of ideas. I get that, but let him have his blog. Why are you giving credibility to somebody like this? What is the point of going to medical school? If we don't value medicine at all anymore, let's make it free. (laughs) You know, if we don't think going to a doctor is worth anything anymore, then why don't we fight for, you know, universal healthcare. And then the people that don't want to go, don't have to go (laughs) in the first place, but like, let the rest of us have it, uh, you know, be cheaper. I don't know. I I, I really don't know. I mean, I know why it pisses me off. It it pisses me off because I, I really hate to see people thrive when they're, in my opinion, doing something wrong. And I think lying inherently is wrong, especially lying for money um, and lying when someone could die based on what you're saying. I think that's, you know, even more horrendous. Like manifestation coaches and life coaches, and I think they're bad enough, honestly, they're bad too. But when you're diagnosing people who have chronic illness, like that's lower than low of someone to stoop to make money. Um, But then again, here we are, this is allowed. If you do not restrict or on the alternative side, and it's like, you know, lately I've been thinking restriction is one thing. Telling someone no doesn't often work. Telling someone, stop doing that. Don't do that anymore. Don't listen to that person. Don't follow that doctrine. It doesn't work very often. And I find myself banging my head against the wall with people that, you know, 
fight me on everything and say, well, you know, I believe it or it worked for me or, you know, you don't know anything. Okay, fine. But my second thing is we need to get more good information out there to the same people that people who do have an education are, are more available in these mass ways. Like this is a, the person that's seeing patients every day probably doesn't have time to write drivel like this about, you know, they're uh, fixing cars when they were 15. I, I don't know how it's done, but I think access to better information from actual experts for cheaper, having uh, more access and having it be more affordable in a healthcare setting. Again, I don't know how to do these things, but I think more access to better things is the solution here because restricting people doesn't work. It's just not. I mean, people who are desperate are going to be desperate, are going to do anything. I have a friend I had a friend who, um, he, he came, we both worked in the news industry and he took over my job when I left and I trained him to do the job when I was in TV. And, uh, within like three or four months of him taking the job, he was diagnosed with cancer and he was my age. He was younger. Like, I think he was 20. No, he was 26 when he was diagnosed, I believe. And um, within a year he was, you know, in the hospital essentially. And they did chemo, didn't work. I I don't think they ever did radiation, but you know, it it wasn't working. And they basically told him there was nothing we can do. So he, his mom, um, sent him to Mexico to one of these treatment facilities. And I see treatment facility very lightly. It's one of these, you know, alternative, eat some fresh vegetables, type places and do some meditation and we'll do these alternative therapies. And he tried and it makes me sad because he missed, um, uh, it makes me really sad because he missed an opportunity to be with his family at the end, but they had hoped that someone had told them like, Oh, we had good results and you should send your child there. And they spent like a lot of money, um, sending him there. And it, you know, he, he, he ended up leaving to come back because he felt so horrible while he was there. He wasn't getting better and he died like very shortly after that. And it just makes me sad because, um, this is, and I, I'm still mean to like get emotional, but these are people's lives and this stuff like is serious and it, it you know, it's not serious until it, it happens to you. And, you know, you just want, I don't know what the solution would have been. Like, I think he would have died either way, but it's just taking these chances. It might seem like the right thing at the moment. Like, what do you have to lose? Like, that's what it sort of seems like what that lady said, like, what do I have to lose? But when it's a person who really does have time to lose or money or any of these things, when the stakes are much higher, it's like, that's when this information is dangerous. And it might seem like nothing to someone just like, oh, I have acne, like why not drink some celery juice? It's like, yeah, but that's not everyone's experience. And again, I don't know what the solution is. There's nothing you and I can do as people necessarily to fix this problem. Um, But it's just something that I think about a lot. And I think because someone like that can sleep at night and give people $500 consultations on the phone, allegedly, and say, yeah, you have this and just take some celery and they can go to sleep at night. I just don't know how you do that. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just think the guy's a narcissist. He wants to be the most special. He thinks he's close to God, whether he believes that or not. I don't know. It seems to work for him. Good for you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's all I have to say about medical medium. Um, Anyways, so that's a little bit of it. Like, I, I obviously know that's like a pretty serious uh, step for me to take. And it, that's personal story it just bothers me because the guy was so such a good person. And I, I don't think anything what is the silver bullet that could have saved him. Same as Dan um, could have saved Dan. And, uh, you know, I don't think in that case there was any hope for him. He had such a severe case. He was so young. It wasn't, it was just an anomaly. It just happened. I don't know. No one knows why he had it specifically. Um, but to be given false hope like that, I don't know. And then for, I don't know. 
I just, it just bothers me. He was such a good person. And I think like that's the hardest pill to swallow in all of this is that good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. And I don't understand it. And there is no thing, there's nothing to understand, in my opinion, from my perspective, as someone who's not spiritual, who's not religious, who believes in, you know, people, essentially, I believe that we have a chance here to do good things for each other. Uh, that's it, you know, essentially is what I believe. Um, it makes me mad when I see someone take advantage of that relationship. Like we're all here. Let's all try to help each other. And uh, that doesn't happen. That does not happen. So anyways, <laughs> on that very sad note, um, and it's not, you know, it doesn't even my story to tell necessarily about, you know, he's a coworker and a friend and uh, it's not about me, but it just, I think that specific case just like is what I always think about when I think about anything medical, like that guy in any of these, like in the scenario that he was faced with, at like 26 years old, facing terminal illness, the lengths that he went to to try to get better. It sucks. It sucks. And I'm, 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 I'm ashamed that this dude, medical medium, would profit from him if he was still alive, potentially. It's just sickening to me. But I'm also working, <laughs> talk about myself again. Uh, I'm also working to try to move forward and let these things go because for a little bit I was starting to get really 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 upset all the time and like something needs to change something needs to change and I can't do it alone and I I'm one person you guys are all one people like we don't have billions of dollars of influence so it's just you know we need to live the best life we can live and try to find the balance of um being aware making good choices trying to tell people what you think honestly about these things and then move on and not hold on to like, you didn't listen to me. Ah, like, how dare you just like give this guy money when I just told you all this information. It's only going to make your life worse. <laughs> and this is more of a lesson for myself. Um, you know, it's fine. This is all fine. What can you do? Throw your hands up in the air and say, welcome to the USA. Anyways, um, okay, let me look at my document just to make sure. That was like the worst one of all of them. Um, I'll put some more in the, because I have a feeling, I mean, I already know this is going to be totally demonetized, but I will put all of the uh, the sources for the stuff that we didn't get to and the stuff that we did in the description of this video after we're done. And if you're a member um, and who is a part of the Reddit, so there's the Reddit community and basically if you just tell me your name once you're a member you can join it's like the exclusive the exclusive group it's just a smaller group and I don't want it to be public for that reason because um we can be a little bit more open in a private space uh I always put the full source notes for all of the live streams there in in a different uh, thread so if you ever want to go back and like look up something um, from one of the streams and additional stuff um, it's in there so if you're already a member um, I will make a post tonight in the in the membership on YouTube for you to tell me your reddit name and I'll add you to the reddit thread if that's something you're interested in and on that note I'm gonna smash your phone. <laughs> I'm gonna smash all of your phones and thank you for sticking around despite us going off air several times clear 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 and um yeah that is that is uh, what's going on an other news uh update from Heidi Heidi is no longer talking to me apparently <laughs> Heidi has decided she's no longer wanting to be my friend um which is okay I am not emotionally stable <laughs> Does Heidi want to be my friend? No. True. Um, I I mean, maybe she'll change her mind, but the last thing she said, she was going to think about it because I asked her to go on, come on the show and do an interview. And she said like, yes, for sure. Definitely. Let me think about it. Which one I want to do, live stream or a recorded video. And then I asked another question of her and then she didn't respond. So. You weren't being a dick. I wasn't being a dick, I swear. But yeah.
we're best friends. We're still best friends, but um, but I don't think she wants to be on it anymore. I think Dave got to her. Maybe I don't know what happened. I'll keep you updated. That's that's the update there. Um, I was the one that needed to get a life. True. I love you. And uh, yeah, and okay, so. Next story ideas. Um, I have a running list of things that I want to talk about, but if you have any suggestions, um, please feel free to let me know either on Instagram or here on comments. Um, and I'll try to look into it. One thing I have on my list, let me look at my list. I have, I want to start, I want to go back in time a little bit and talk about some fake cancer stories. Uh, because I have an update on one of the videos I did about the woman who faked cancer to get a free wedding. There's a huge update with that one. Um, and chronically rah, rah, not a huge update, but there's some, you know, what she's up to now, uh, life with Amarissa, she's still kicking it. (laughs) You know, she's hanging around, still doing the same thing. Um, the, the woman who held the cigarette. If you're familiar with my old, 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 two years ago, old, my first videos on YouTube, um, I just want to update all of them. And then there's some good stories, not good. I mean, they're horrible stories, but stories about people getting caught and getting prison time for faking illnesses and how I like to cover how they got caught so that the next round, the next time you come across someone that just something's a little sketch, you might be able to put the pieces together faster and then not support somebody who's lying. There's one, oh my God, there's one where this woman literally went to the, like she pretended she was a Marine that had cancer from Iraq, like from going there and being among the the burning pits, which is I guess like a carcinogen that has been linked to cancer. She never was there. She never was even in the military whatsoever. So that is an amazing story that I need to talk about. Um, and I like to do that. And then also, but also, um, there's a, but also there's a, a war on birth control. Now I need to further research. And again, I don't mean to pick medical things. I have no medical background either. In that regard, I am no better than uh, Anthony William, a medical medium. I'm the medical, I'm medical easy. Um, but, uh, uh, I don't know. They interest me. I guess they're just like, they're so horrible that I feel justified in criticizing those for sure. Like sometimes I'm like, Oh, self-help. Like, am I, is anyone really getting hurt? And then, but these I'm like, okay, no, people are, people are definitely getting hurt. Um, there, there seems to be a trend with wellness influencers demonizing birth control. At, to the point of saying, you know, birth contr- being on birth control can make you bisexual. Being on birth control can make you gay. Um, you should get off birth control immediately. It's ruining your body and, you know, 27 different ways. And I just find it interesting uh, that this is all coming up now, right when Roe v. Wade is, you know, thrown away, essentially. Um, and, you know, access to abortions are much, much, much harder, uh, as a whole in the country. And now all of a sudden, you know, as a wellness influencer, you're talking about birth control causing, you know, just odd problems. You're picking the wrong husband. Like essentially this one woman who's an influencer said, um, you know, Oh, uh, I, I got divorced because my first husband, I was on birth control when I met him and I got off birth control and then we divorced. It's like, is that all that happened? Okay. So, um, I just want to kind of trace back that whole thing and, uh, and just look at it, just see like, okay, is this something that is real backed by science? Is it backed by, you know, anything or is it a propaganda scheme that's, that's happening? Woo. Thank you. Wild Dixia. Welcome. Um, yeah. So that one's interesting. Uh, and, and not to say, and some people will say like, well, birth control is horrible. I'm not saying I love being on birth control. There's a bunch of reasons why birth control is annoying, frustrating. I've been on and off it, you know, since I was 
in college. And yeah, I haven't, I haven't found like, Oh, no symptoms at all. (laughs) Like there's definitely room for, um, complaints. But again, I think more studies, more money invested into that field of research, more efforts put into finding solutions for those symptoms, as opposed to banning it, getting rid of it, and then getting, you know what causes more hormonal damage than birth control? Being pregnant. (laughs) You know what is going to cause more problems in your life, potentially uh, having a baby that you're, you're not, you don't want, you know, like let's be realistic about your options here. Uh, and so that's the conversation I want to have. And, uh, and then of course, other people um, that I'm just following here, hither and thither. but we've done a lot of different ones lately and I'm glad for it. I'm glad we've been, you know, moving along in, in and out of the uh, Hollis universe Um, it feels good to give her a break, (laughs) even though I posted about her on Instagram and it caused some debate in the comments uh, about what I posted. So if you're looking for something fun to do, there's about 20 comments you can read on uh, my Instagram. And uh, if you don't know what my Instagram looks like, here we go. There it is. There, me with a big old mouth. And this is the one that- So interesting. I started working out with- Has caused some- some co- big old mouth and this is the one that so interesting i started working out with has caused some some controversy anyways all right time for me to sing a song and uh i'm going to sing the pancake breakfast club anthem <laughs> it's gonna be so great thank you for watching sorry that this took a turn for the sad and that we uh had uh we had some moments of what do you call it separation of suspension. <laughs> Thanks, medical medium. You're, you're medically stupid. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everybody. Time for some music. Oh, yeah. Let's get some music. I'm going to pick a song. Right meow. Here we go. This one sounds good. Oh, jeez. Ooh. I'm all about talking about scams and schemes. Rainy Cannon is a schemer. Just kidding. They're a believer. Starry nights, get your celery juice. Sixteen ounces is to make it right. Nicole Hensley. She drives the Mercedes Benzley. The Jerry. She's jury and judge. She'll decide. Who to nudge? Nicole Campbell Got the beat of the drum Just like Clueless Monet Who'll never be one There'll be two Just like Laura Wallace Two is the number Of words In your first and last name Wow Dave Kelly He definitely is not smelly after drinking celery juice all day The perception trainer Make sure to put the celery juice in the strainer Marley Hannon Put some celery in a can and shoot it to the moon a console. What can I say? Your celery stock made my day. Brian and Nicole put some fruit in a bowl. That'll cure all of your ailments. And Chels Marie, you're also not smelly. Oh yeah. Alaska Blatundra 
gotta say, where's my hundred dollars? Crystal G, you and me will be free thanks to celery. Gotta start the song over again. Angela Arnold, AA. This piano is for yay. Not Kanye, for yay, meaning you, Angela Arnold. So true. Louise V, you remind me of Dahlia. Crazy. Kimberly Cosse. You know, May. That's a month, but it also is a rhyme for me. Joms. He's always wearing a pair of Toms. So comfy. Kimberly Harris smiles. Her bathroom's filled with tiles. Kara Soto Mmm Throw that soda out It's not good for you Only celery salt Yeah And Alice in Wonderland 66 She'll be Dipping celery sticks All night Saving her own life that's what these people would like us to believe. But we all know we're medical thieves and we'll steal back our health. No celery will be good enough for us. It'll be cupcakes only, the true diet of believers. Cupcake a day keeps the doctor away. That's what I always say. Sprinkles on top, extra points. Cherries on top, you are of supreme health. If it's got funfetti inside, you know you'll have to always survive. Cupcakes and pancakes. Thank you, Pancake Breakfast Club. See you in the morning for our celery juice fast. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.